<sighs> I was muted. I feel sad now. Oh, well. Uh, all I was saying was, um, I have to turn off the chroma thing because my gloves would be masked out, and then this was also messed up. Okay. I don't really block anything anyway besides space. Now, I need to go to Joypad, Configure. For whatever reason, these controls do not save. Literally, nope, that's still not working. Open. <laughs> All right. Uh, Joypad, Configure. Up. Down, left, right, A, B, L, R, select, select, start. Speed will be left bumper because right bumper doesn't work right. Okay, here we go. Now, I played this game a lot growing up. I love Pokemon games, but this spoke to me as a person because I collected the cards a lot too. And the fact that this was a game I could play. Also... It's built on the three sets that I have. Base, Jungle, and Fossil. So it's perfect for me. Can I do lowercase? Yes. Wolf. I don't think I can in this game. All right, well. Also, underrated soundtrack for a Game Boy game. Wes is crazy about Pokemon. I couldn't tell. Uh, and Pokemon card collecting. One day Wes heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon trading card games greatest players. I'll be honest, they're not that good of they're not the cards aren't that good. The Grandmasters are searching for one to inherit the legend, dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards. Wes visits the Pokemon card researcher, Dr. Mason. Oh, why the rush, Wes? Why? You want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? Hmm. So you too. Why am I... I'm doing like a weird mix of, um... Reminds me of Professor Oak from Pokemon Stadium. Wonderful! So you too finally want to uh, start playing the card game. Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. Well, first, you should try playing with a, de a practice deck. Oh, oh, I forgot about the stupid practice me session. Here, I'll give you this deck. And now you need an opponent. Well, hey, Sam. Play him for a while. Beat him up a little bit. Teach him a lesson. Yes, Dr. Mason. Hello. Let's give it a try. This is a completely scripted fight, which is why I find it boring. <laughs> but after this, we get to do what we want. Hurry up and come over here. Uh, first ask Sam the basics of the game. Alright, Wes, what do you want to ask about? Nothing. Is that all? Yes. They say that actions speak louder than words, so let's play a game. If this is your first time, just try to learn the basic steps. I'll be coaching you, so follow my advice. If you don't do as I say, you won't be able to proceed. Love that. If you don't do exactly what I say, no game. Might be easier if you just read the Pokemon trading card game instruction booklet while we play. Okay, then let's start your practice game. <laughs> he looks happy. This is just a practice. Do not shuffle the deck. Each player will draw seven cards. Choose a basic Pokemon. Draw seven cards and get ready for the battle. Choose your active Pokemon. You can only uh, choose basic Pokemon as your active Pokemon. So you can choose either Goldeen or Staryu. For our practice duel, choose Staryu. I will choose Starmie every time over Goldeen, by the way. You may choose up to five basic Pokemon to place on the bench. Next, put your Pokemon on your bench. You can switch bench Pokemon with your active Pokemon. Again, only basic Pokemon can be placed on your bench. Choose Staryu from your hand and put it there. When you have no Pokemon to put on your bench, press the B button to finish. Please place two prizes. Pfft. A coin will be tossed to decide who plays first. If heads, West plays first. Alright, you play first. 
I forgot to change the category. What am I doing? Uh, Pokemon trading. Oh, there it's actually in here. Uh, should I change any of the uh, birthday screen back seating? No, that's all fine. <laughs> back seating allowed in a card game? I, mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. All right. Like, play this card. Uh, you drew water energy. To use the active command, you need it to attach energy cards to your Pokemon. Basically like mana, except instead of tapping it by itself, it goes on every Pokemon. Well, ones you choose anyway. Choose cards from the menu and select a water energy card. Next, choose your active Pokemon. Goldeen and press the A button when the water energy card will be attached to Goldeen. Finally, attack your opponent by selecting an attack command. Choose attack from the menu and select horn attack. Now, let's play the game exactly how I want you to. Water energy and horn attack. Machop is considered one of the best starting cards because he does 20 damage for only one energy. Nice. Here it comes. Low kick. Which doesn't work the same as it used to, but whatever. In the game, anyway. In Pokemon games. It used to be like attack of 50. Now it does damage based on uh, weight of the Pokemon. I remember what generation that was. Your Goldeen's gonna get knocked out. Let's evolve it. Choose Seeking from your hand and attach it to Goldeen to evolve it. Its HP increase from 40 to 70. Your Seeking doesn't have enough energy to use Waterfall. You need to attach a Psychic Energy card to Seeking. Uh, that means any energy card. Now you can use Waterfall. Keep the Water Energy card for another Pokemon. Now let's attack your opponent with Seeking's Waterfall. Let's play the game. Psychic. Evolve to Seeking. And Waterfall. Rattata. Oh, Rattata's ready to go with Bite, which I think also does 20 damage for one energy. And get out of here, Pointer. Alright. Seeking's got enough energy, so don't need to attach any more. Attach energy cards to your bench Pokemon to get them ready for battle. Attach a water energy card to your bench star you. Next, select the attack command. Machop has 10 HP left. Seeking's horn attack will be enough to knock it out. But choose Seeking's horn attack. Now Machop's HP is zero when it's knocked out. When you knock out a defending Pokemon, you can pick up a prize. Let's play the game. I honestly don't like that. I like going for the overkill in this kind of game. Like, who cares? But I think it'll force me to do it, so. Horn attack. Water energy. All right, here comes Rattata. There's Raticate. Seeking is going to die. Drowsy. When all your Pokemon are knocked out and there are no more Pokemon on your bench, you lose the game. Put Drowsy, the basic Pokemon you just drew, on your bench. Attach a Water Energy card to Drowsy to get it ready to attack. Choose your active Seeking and attack your opponent with Waterfall. Now let's play the game. Yeah, thank you. This should work since I believe he has Pound. Yep. And Waterfall. Why does he have three? Oh, whatever. Alright, he gets a prize. Choose a bench Pokemon to replace your knocked out Pokemon. You now have Drowsy and Staryu on your bench. Choose Staryu as the active Pokemon for this practice duel. Here, press select to check Pokemon data. It is important to know your cards and the status of your Pokemon. Let's play the game. Alright, Staryu, who I believe has Slap for 20 damage. Potion. Staryu evolves into Starmie. Let's get Staryu ready to use Starmie's attack command when it evolves to Starmie. Choose the Water Energy card from your hand and attach it to Staryu. Attack your opponent with Staryu's Slap. Let's play the game. 
Slap. Getting slapped by a starfish. We got plenty of arms to do it. We got Machop on the bench. Machop. Is he gonna retreat? Yep. We could buy a turn with potion. Another useless seeking. Now recover Star with a trainer card. Choose potion from your hand. Let's get ready to evolve it to Star Me. Also attach a water energy to Star You. Attack your opponent with Star You slapped in your turn. Yeah, this is super scripted, but after this, we get to kind of do what we want. So. Although I recommend not messing with the uh, your deck for a while, because you need a lot of cards to do that. Uh potion. I'll just be using the starting deck for a bit. I don't know who I'm gonna pick. Do we want the Bulbasaur in Friends deck? The Squirtle in Friends deck? Or the Charmander in Friends deck? I believe the Squirtle in Friends deck has the most promise. Because Blastoise has Rain Dance ability. Venusaur and Char Charizard's honestly not that good. Everyone's love for that Charizard card in the first set, I don't think it's that good. Venusaur, I think, is second best, and I like Blastoise the best. I might pick Squirtle for that reason. Free Blastoise. Low kick. Part of the cards. This better be a Starmie. Oh, look at that. Now you have finally drawn a Starmie card. Choose Starmie from your hand and use it to evolve Staryu. You've already attached enough energy to use Star Freeze. Attack your opponent with uh, Star Starmie's Star Freeze. Star Freeze! Paralysis check. If Head's opponent is paralyzed. Okay. Uh, we are going to hate that coin flip by the end of this game. RNG at its best. Or worst. Like when an enemy uh, has a 10 damage move that paralyzes you with the heads and they paralyze you like 5 times in a row. That kind of stuff. It's like the card equivalent of Pokemon Stadium. Now Machop has only 10 HP left. Let's finish the battle. Attach, uh, attack with enemy, with, wow, with Star Me's Star Freeze. You've knocked out your opponent. Pick up the last prize. Wes is the winner. Yeah, bye. All right, let's useless paralysis check. Mm. We win. Do, do. Basically, this is how the Pokemon trading card game is played. It's a game in which you try to knock out as many of your opponent's Pokemon as there are prices. That's the gist of it. If you don't understand something, talk to Sam. It might be helpful to practice again. Two, I can't read right now. This time was just a practice, so I had you follow everything I said. But there are other styles of play. So try them out before choosing normal duel. Can I leave now? Now then, let's build your deck. Did you bring your cards? Here you go. Let me add some of my own cards to yours. What kind of deck would you want? Please select the deck you want. I'm gonna go with Squirtle and Friends, because again, Blastoise. I will never use a Charizard deck, and I really am not a huge fan of uh, Bulbasaur and Venusaur either. Squirtle. Okay, a Squirtle and Friends deck. Here are the remaining cards. Yay. You should duel with many different people. Why don't you go on one of the card, card clubs? Uh, there are many people playing at the clubs. Collect new cards and try building a new deck. Now, there's actually a guy in here you can fight just for energy cards. We're good for now. In fact, I'm going to look at my new deck. We have two Squirtle, a War Turtle, a Blastoise. Uh, two Seals, a Dugong... Seeking, Star You Star Me. Lapras is actually pretty good. This is going away eventually. I don't I don't want three types in my deck. Once we get some more uh cards, those are getting out of here. I hate having three types of energy in one deck. Alright. Can I can I leave? Thank you. Alright. Because we have a water deck. Who's weak to water? 
Fighting tends to have like half rocks and they're weak to grass, not water. In fact, I don't think anything's weak to water. Look at the rock club. We're getting the rock, uh, metal, metal, I can't read. Wasn't that hard. If I keep this up, I should be able to get the legendary Pokemon cards. What? Oh, it's you. What are you doing? That's a deck? Are you trying to get the legendary Pokemon cards? Yes. What? I can't believe it. You, the legendary Pokemon cards? Ha ha ha. Don't make me laugh. All right, listen up. I'll teach you what it's about. To inherit the legendary Pokemon cards, you must defeat the eight Club Masters and get the eight medals. Then you have to go to the Pokemon Dome and defeat all four of the Grand Masters there. Elite Four. There's no way you could do it. You might as well give up and go home, because legendary Pokemon cards are going to be mine. I already won the first medal. See ya. Ha ha. All right, well. Uh, Scream Raiders. I need to move. Well, actually. That's fine. Yeah. <sighs> that one actually does stop the music when you uh, click off of it. Here we go. We have a very slow team. <laughs> Wow, we do a lot of damage per hit. Bye. Ah, uh, Melon gets three tanks. Good, good. Uh, level up my mage. Hmm, I thought I already... Interesting. Anyway. Only one way to go. Barbarian. I think he's almost, get, he's almost, he's almost a level 10. We're close, we're close, we're getting there. All right, that's ready to go. We are almost 10 hours into the stream. Not even halfway. All right. Oh, excuse me, did you hear? Um, Ishihara, who lived on the Cape to the Northwest, he owns 10,000 cards, probably even has rare cards. I lost. Matthew's really good. He'll probably inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. We'll see about that. I'm Matthew, a member of the Rock Club. I just finished a duel. I won, of course. Legendary cards will be belong to me. How about it? Would you like to duel me? Yes. Our first real fight. He looks evil. He has red eyes. All right, this deck is going to be bad until we get some more cards, so. The, these, cup, these first couple fights are going to be a little on the rough side. We have Ghastly, Meowth. Why do I have so many Pokemon and no energy? This is a shame. Uh, go Geodude. This deck is not going to be fun. <laughs> Goldeen. Abra. Ghastly. Meowth. Why not? And I have a scoop up. I feel like that's only good with Kangaskhan's and Chansey's. <sighs> it begins. Oh, well... <laughs> Geodude first Geodude. Do it. I need to turn the I need to turn the settings on to make the game go a little faster. All right, can I get one energy card, please? I cannot. This is terrible. All right, well, I'm done. Energy card, please. See what I mean? I don't like the ratio of energy cards to Pokemon in the starting decks. Energy card, please. My god. I mean, I might as well. Vengeful Pokemon! Not a single energy card on any of them. 
Stone Barrage. Yeah, um, this is not great. Immediate fail. Basically, you keep you keep flipping until you flip tails. For every heads you get before you hit tails, you do 10 damage. This is the worst start I've ever had in this game, probably. For my first duel. Tails! Yeah. Energy. It's a psychic energy, but I'll take it. Abra? Could potentially paralyze, but also has no health. Neither does Ghastly. Abra it is. If I could get, like, two water energies, I might be in good shape here. Cubo. He has a lot of energy on his bench Pokemon already, and I have one. Oh, well. The rolls are not with him today, though. Yeah, I've got to increase the tech speed. Water energy, that's going straight on War Turtle. What is my retreat cost? One. Uh... I mean, I'm a giant rock. It makes sense. I don't... It's not zero. Will he do damage? I actually kind of want him to kill me. One. You know what's interesting? I don't think rock... I don't think rock resists rock. Yeah, I don't think it does. I don't think rock resists rock in this game. Or in, uh, Pokemon. Huh. This is so bad. I have one energy... Two energy cards. Well... I'm probably going to lose this fight. I'm going to have to get lucky with some paralysis from Abra. Okay, if I can get Blastoise, that'd be cool. I have no energy for him, but... Please, game! I have, like, 15 energy in this deck of what water alone, I think. Give me something. Also, I don't really want to eat snacks with these on. I don't know. Water would be nice, but I will take it regardless. Uh, I think I might put it on War Turtle to get the I'm bike. Commander thing. Shepard, welcome aboard. No. Oh. Thank you for the follow, uh, Joe Mama four six two one. Hello, welcome to some one of my, maybe my worst start ever in this game. This Geodude will not die. Water energy. Close. Not really. Same color. Alright. I'm gonna have to bring in Abra when he kills me to get some paralysis. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Could I just have a water energy, please? Yeah, all three starting decks in this game are not great. Uh, well, Abra's dead. Probably. If I can get a water energy next turn, I can kill him in one hit. Maybe he'll get two tails. Can always hope. Crap. I'm gonna lose my first fight, because I have no energy. You know I might want to go play the guy at the lab laboratory place uh, to get more energy, to take out some Pokemon and put energy in. 
because this is not working out for me. If I don't get a water energy here, the fight's pretty much over. Hey. I mean, I'm still in trouble. Is he weak to water or grass? Probably grass. Yep, grass. Best case scenario, I take zero. Cool. I'm weak to fighting, aren't I? Meow's dead. And Gusta winds are evil. Yep. Or total. Mewtwo Tentacruel Aerodactyl. I got a fighting energy for all my fighting Pokemon. Yeah, I don't need this for anything. Okay. At least Marowak's dead. Blastoise? <laughs> I actually called that. I s wow. I still can't do anything with it, but... Nice. Heart of the cards. Until I get some more water energy, it's useless, but... Oh, that's not good. That Rhyhorn is going to kill me. Alright, water energy. Oh, I only requires three. Okay. Well, okay. Well. Mm. Yes, All right. No, Aber only has 30 HP. If he has another... He has another uh, gust of wind. I don't want to do that. But I have... What is Ghastly? What are Ghastly's moves again? Oh, it's the terrible Ghastly. Okay. It's the base set, set Ghastly, not the fossil Ghastly. Well, in that case... Okay... And bite. I kind of don't want to kill the Onyx yet, because when I do, Rhyhorn's going to come in and mess me up. How have I only gotten two water energies this entire time? Okay. Rattata, go. I might still be able to save this. If I get a water energy next turn, I evolve into Blastoise. I might be able to save this. Maybe. Pretty sure Rhyhorn's gonna hurt. I mm. Okay. He only has two on. If I could just get a water energy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Discard two of the cards from uh, your hand in order to put a trainer card. I don't think I have an energy search in this deck. But might get a potion or something. Uh by Squirtle. I scoop up. Yeah, I'll take a potion. I kind of don't want to do this, but his Rhyhorn only has two energy, so... <laughs> I will find a water energy eventually. Snorlax. Can't be asleep, confused, or paralyzed, or poisoned. I don't think I have any of that in my deck, so that's fine. Switch, that's always pretty useful. I'm gonna use the potion now.
Well, we lose. But we don't lose. Luckily, he only has an Onyx out. And I am immediately getting out of there. That almost killed me. Ooh, Professor Oak. Hello, water energy. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Go to Blastoise. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Blastoise down. Because of Rain Dance, I can put down as many water energies as I want. Then I am going to play Professor Oak. I swear if I don't get any water energy from this, I quit. <laughs> Alright. Blastoise. Blastoise. If he has a gust of wind, I can still lose this. But we're in good shape. This is a long fight. Here comes the scary one. Luckily, he doesn't have enough energy to do anything. Nope. That might have been dumb. How, how, how long... How can I power this up? Does 40 damage plus 10 more. But you can't add more than 20. So I can have 5 total. Which I do. Okay, that's good. So that wasn't a waste. Alright, we win next turn. Unless, unless a gust of wind shows up. We're still fine, I think. Now we're not. Delaying the inevitable. That is one more turn that they could potentially get a gust of wind, and I don't like that. Alright. If this is not a gust of wind, we're good. We're good. We won our first battle. A lot harder than it should have been, but it's just because this deck is not great. We win! Please give me some good cards in the booster in the booster packs. I'll never get the legendary cards if I play like that. Here we go. Moltres, Dratini, Pokemon Center, Rhydon, Water Energy. Is it bad the thing I care about the most in this is Water Energy? <laughs> hmm. I really don't like using Kabutops and Kabuto and all them because it requires to have the fossils down. They only have 10 HP. That's great. That's really good. Yeah, everything else is kind of meh. Okay. I think I'm going to mess with the deck a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to add a water energy. I'm going to take out... Which... I'm gonna take out these stupid Geo dudes. I don't want them. Pokemon Centers. Well, nah, it eats up all my energy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Shelder. Shelder. Almanite. Can't even use Almanite. I don't want any of these. Wait, the double colorless. Yeah. Alright, we have one more water energy. I took out two Geodudes that weren't doing anything. We're improving slightly. I'm gonna be moving soon in a, to a faraway place, but I'm not sad. I'll make new friends dueling with Pokemon cards. You can relate a little bit. Okay. Yes, please. Always wanted to be a rock, a hard rocker. Rock Pokemon. Doesn't the name rock? Won't you duel against my rock Pokemon deck? You're saying rock too many times. 
It's like a ghost child. Oh, Hitman Chan is amazing. And I have no fighting for it. For Tata, it is. Nope. Okay. Could I go first, please? I cannot. Well, Rattata is dead in two turns. Mm -hmm. Fighting energy. I hate having three energies in one. This is so bad. This might be a waste, but I'm doing it. I will take the 20 damage. This could be a very short fight. Go, Hitmonchan with no energy. Okay. Uh, well, I could use one water on me for later, I suppose. There you go. Have some water, uh, met wow, Hitmonchan. I almost said Metacham. This is gonna be a pretty short fight if I don't... Okay, alright, well... I like to get rid of the Psychic in my deck and make it just Fighting Water. Fighting's good in this game. Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee are great. I might go fight the guy at the lab to get more, to get more uh, energy. And take out the Psychic Pokémon. Not a problem. You've been here for a while. Uh, good luck with your uh, appointment tomorrow. This should come in handy. Oh, thank you for the 300 uh, heart bits. I'm losing this fight to an Onyx that does 10 damage per turn. easiest people to fight are in the beginning of the game. I know the water gym is considered pretty easy. Because it only has, like, um, some of the fights only have, like, three prizes instead of four. Makes them go faster. I cannot believe I'm, I'm, I lost this fight because of I didn't find a single energy. Alright. And I'm dead. I'll be here. Hopefully. If you pop into the stream like 10 hours from now and I'm asleep, well... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get some energy cards so I can rebuild this deck a little bit. It'll be light on Pokemon, but heavier on energy that matters. Won't you duel me? Yes. Give me energy. Uh, I will battle against the lightning and fighter deck. I hit the wrong button. I know I'm probably weak to lightning, but I'm also good against fire, so it kind of evens up. I have a Rattata. And that is all. I will be able to go first eventually. Well. I have managed to lose turn one. Yep. I have lost in one turn. Well, more than one, but it was pretty much a one turn loss. And I'm... What do you want? This is going to be the hardest part of the game, honestly. One of the hardest parts is getting past this initial hill of my deck is terrible.
Yeah. Jesus, make everything better. Don't think it's stuck in my teeth. All right. Well, this looks familiar. Yay! Won't you resist psychic? Okay. All right. Wow, what a jerk. Well, I can't hurt him with Abra. And that's all I have. But I can paralyze. All right. I'm stalling with an Abra against a Rattata. Ghastly can't do damage. Because Ghastly sucks. Um... Still stalling. Another reason why I want to get rid of the Psychic Pokemon in the deck. Give me something that can hurt me, okay? Man, RNG is loving me right now. I'm dead. Why did you do... S I mean, it does the same amount of damage, I guess. Oh, we're still in this. By the way, he has no bench Pokemon this entire... He's had no bench Pokemon this entire time. If I was able to kill this uh, Rattata earlier before he used plus power, fight's over. You know, I'm gonna try something. This is dumb. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can if I can do Destiny Bond to kill him. Oh, we're dead. It might work. Oh, we got a Voltorb. Of course he did. Ghastly. You only need one Psychic, right? Yeah. He can't kill me next turn. But... I'm actually not going to put him to sleep. Uh-oh. This is... This deck is so bad. Destiny Bond! Well, bye, Raticate. Except now I lose. 13 and a half hours? Oh. Good night. I'm going to lose a lot. Uh, there you go. Water energy. I win. We're going to lose a couple times here. Until I get better cards. Well, we lose next turn. Except we don't. Mm. Oh. We might be able to salvage this. Thanks to Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan's always been good. One da uh, 20 damage, one energy. Oh, of course. Nope. 
now we're in trouble. In fact, I think we're dead. If I kill this, he'll bring elect he'll bring Electrode back in and kill me. So yeah, we I think we lost. We lost. I can't even beat the guy who gives me. Oh, I wasn't even weak to it. Nope. I just want energy cards. Wait, can I get free? Can I get some free boosters here? It's me, Dr. Mason. Are you getting the hang of the Pokemon trading card game? I have some information for you about booster packs. Yeah, I know. Get boosters. Hey, free boosters. Magneton, Raticate, Defender's always decent. Um, Bill is great. Best thing in there was Bill. Information about uh, Gene's deck. He's the master of the Rock Club. His Rock Crusher deck is extremely strong against lightning Pokemon, but it's weak against grass Pokemon. Yep. Beedrill, Weeping Bell, Golem, Rapidash, Metapod, Krabby. Energy Search was the best thing in that. Alright. I'm going to change my deck a little bit. I'm going to add in a Bill and an Energy Search. And take out stupid psychic Pokemon. Yeah. And then take out the psychic energy. Put in the fighting. Mm. Diglett's actually not bad. It's like Rattata, basically. I'll put a right horn and right on him. Mm. This is not going to be a great deck, like I said, but I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Mm. I guess. Shelf. I'm just putting in anything I have right now. Goldine. Not that. Can't even use Primate. I'll put the Geodudes back in. And Pokemon Center just because I have it. And... Nope. I have nothing else. How about a nice drowsy for Pound? <laughs> this is so bad. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Alright. My new and improved Squirtle and Friends deck will will help me. All right, let's go. Oh, that was nice. I'm Commander Shepard. Welcome aboard. Oh, thank you for the follow, Froggy. Julie gets some gold. Oh, man. I am... Honestly, I know I'm not even halfway through the stream yet, but I am amazed that I am not tired yet. Hmm. I'll be stabby. Okay. So. I need to get more energy so I can fill it more with fighting and... Yeah, like two more water energy and a bunch of fighting energy. Okay. I have Geodude, Rhyhorn, and Goldeen. Uh, Goldeen, please. Yeah! Ooh! The best card in my deck. Although I have no energy for it right now. Yes, die, Charmander. You have any Pokemon on the he does, he has three. Ooh, a seeking. Oh bye, Charmander. 
This is how fights go when you get lucky in the beginning. That's a fossil magmar. The base set magmar can do good damage, it only has 50 HP. Fossil magmar has 70 HP, I believe, or more. And it's very annoying because it has smoke screen. It's like, flip a coin, if heads, they can't attack next turn or something. Or I have to flip a coin, I think. And dead. Yep, that is the fossil one. Alright. Put Diglett down. I'll put a fighting on Machamp. Machamp. Uh, Hitmonchan. I think this is the Spark Pikachu. It's gonna do 40 damage to me because I'm weak to lightning. And it's gonna do like 10. Damn, never mind. Never mind. No energy. Bye bye. That was scary. I'm gonna make a save state real quick. He's starting to stall, body block me with Magmar. Not gonna work out too well for him. Yeah, we're good. See how much better this team is already? To be fair, I got super lucky with the Seeking, but... Alright. Do, 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 do. Ooh, two fighting energy is not a single water energy. Okay. Alright. Fighting, fighting. And I will take out the Drowsy. And I will take out the Krabby. Looking better. Huh. I'll keep trying with the Rock Guy. Well, Hitmonchan, because I actually have a way to do damage immediately. I'll put down the Staryu and the... I guess the... Reta I'll leave those two in my, in my hand. Yes! Turn 1, 20 damage, go. Also, Ponyta needs two energy to do anything. Unless he has a double color lit. Oh, it's on Cubone instead, never mind. Staryu and Rattata. Use Bill. Ooh. I'll stack some stuff on Rhyhorn. I don't think it's that good, but I'll do it. Eradicate. I guess that means I'll be putting energy on Rattata now. Aww. I can't hurt him at all, can I? I believe that takes Hello right on. Well... Never mind, Raticate. Yeah, I can't damage him. But he can't really do anything to me either. Hmm. I'm gonna item find the Raticate and the Geodude for energy search. I'm, gonna, I'm beefing up right on. If I remember correctly from this game, the most annoying gym leader to face is probably the Psychic one. He has one of those decks that just runs you out of cards, kind of. Kind of. Basically, it's like Chanseys with scoop-ups and uh, Pokemon Centers. It's very annoying. Right on. How much energy do you need? That's right horn. There we go. Wow. Right on does 20 damage to itself. If your opponent has any bench Pokemon, he or she chooses one of them and switches it with it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, sorry, you're fine. 
Rage will hurt more, but at least he's dead next turn. Well, hey, Rattata, how you doing? That's why I don't like putting them down on the bench. Well, you're dead now. Um, in case I find a Stormy. One Psychic Energy, huh? Horn Attack? Oh, Leer. Just stall me. Alright. Seal. I'm gonna do this in case I find one more Fighting Energy. Oh, yeah, I can't attack. That's right. Don't you do it. Okay. This is a fighting energy. Uh, it's not. Mm. Can't do anything. This is why I want more. I would like a deck that's just Hitmonchan and Hitmon Lee with some like with Black Blastoise support, I guess. I think Water-type Pokemon are pretty good in, the, in this game, too. Some good choices. Also, Grass. Scyther and uh, Pinsir. Pretty good. I would love to get some Kangaskhan's, too, so I can get some fetching going. I always have a big, fat Kangaskhan in the, in the lead spot, so you can just keep fetching for cards. Also, right on, uh, Rhyhorn's dead. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, Jinx. Am I weak to that? I am. I'm gonna switch out for... I can only recover. I'll stay in. It's no big deal. Technically, she be she should be weak against this, but okay. I live for one more attack. Oh, good timing. Although that wouldn't help me anyway. Uh, this can go on Starmie. I believe Starmie only needs two water for yep. Okay, or one water actually. Okay, Starmie Star Freeze will kill Jinx next turn. dead, which is a good thing, actually. Star. I didn't even get to use Rhydon. I powered it up for nothing. Oh, well. He's a good backup. Oh, it only does 20 instead of... Oh, I thought it did 30 for some reason. Uh-oh. Nah, we're fine. Oh, Renegade Snack. Mm. Wait, that's Paragon Snack. I thought I said Renegade for a second. I'm get, I think I'm getting a little tired. Yay! I'll... Mm. A little low on cheese. its I think I have some left. It's in the box. In the kitchen. I think. Ah, man. The extra Toski ones are so good. I lost. A rocking guy like me can't lose. Please give me something good. That's not bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's kind of a cool staller. Although the retreat cost is ridiculous. No. No. Gyarados is pretty good. Pokeball is actually pretty handy. And I will take that fighting energy. Yes! Hitmonchan is a great pull. And the potion and the... Wow. No, I don't want to fight you again. Those... That was pretty good. I like how the deck is slowly becoming a fighting deck more and more. 
Um, Hitmonchan, Pokeball, Defender, Potion, take out the Scoop Up, take out the Pokemon Center, put in more Fighting Energy. Now, what is, um, what is not great in your Shelter? Take out the Starry and the Starry, too. I want to keep left. Take out the Diglett. All right. The deck is already looking much better. I'm carving a statue of a Pokemon out of this rock. I can't tell what it is. I have Meowth. All right. Meowth, this is you and me. Oh, Goldeen. Never mind. Cat Punch! Oh yeah, this is the Game Boy one. It chooses a random Pokemon and does 20 damage. What a weird attack. Another Goldeen. Should I go for the random 20 damage? He only has one Pokemon. Wait, are you weak to water or grass? Grass. Okay. Yeah, I'll do this. I got plenty of time. Oh, Sand Attack is so annoying. And I'm weak to it. I forgot about that. Maybe I don't want to waste... You know what? I will do a switch. Bye. If I get a Sinking, I'm in pretty good shape. There's only one in the deck, but... Sand Attack is such an annoying ability, or annoying move. 50% chance I miss my attack next turn, basically. Uh, power up the Squirtle. I have missed my attack. Remember in the game when Sand Attack lowers your accuracy by like... Like 10% or something, not that much? Yeah, this is 50. Doesn't stack, though, at least. Now, if I bring in Squirtle, I believe I can. I believe Squirtle does 20 damage. What if I get lucky on the Cat Punch? Does Squirtle need to water? No, just. Oh, it only does 10, though. Okay. Mm. Guess I'm saving those. Good. Now Squirtle can kill it. Never mind. Oh, wrong one. Squirtle. Mm. Now that is great. Useless Paralysis. This thing scares me. And I'm gonna die. Okay. If I can paralyze this twice, I think I can finish it off with Haymaker. Or I won't. It was a plan anyway. Yeah. Okay. Special punch. Wow. Another sand slash. Fury swipes. Ow. I got lucky on that. That could have messed me up. Put down the Defender. It'll still be there when the next thing comes out. Might have been a waste. I should have checked to see how much energy was on Sand Clash before I did that. Eh, I'll take it. Mysterious Fossil. 
He has a Kabuto. And I blocked that. I'm getting my defender back again. Putting it down. Kind of surprised the item finders come into play a lot. Oh, hello, Aerodactyl. No more evolution cards can be played. That's very annoying. Another reason why I like decks where nothing evolves. Does he have resistance to fighting since he's flying? If he does, this is going to take a while. Yep. Is it 20 or 30 in this game? It is 30. This is going to be a long, annoying fight. See, I don't like using the Mysterious Fossils because they only have 10 HP and they're easy to pick off. But Aerodactyl's cool. It's a fully evolved Pokemon already. That I'm fine with. Just, you go from a thing that only counts as a trainer card that has 10 HP to, like, Kabuto only has, like, 30. I feel like it takes too long to get to the end game. Well, two more. Uh, there's no point in using that. Plus power would be nice. Now is he going to retreat? Oh, I win. So now we're starting to, like, snowball uh, with this. Like, we're getting better cards. We're getting very good picks. The extra Hitmonchan was a big plus. Now, if I could just get a Hitmon Lee, that'd be nice. Or a third Hitmonchan. Or a Scyther. Scyther could go in any deck because it's colorless. Machamp, Rapidash, Marowak, Weeping Bell, Geodude, Get. Energy Search is great. Fighting Energy is good too. I have two Machamps now. Sand Slash, Rapidash, Kingler. Gust of Wind is fantastic. Fighting Energy. Nice. My deck is now becoming more and more fighting. Uh, I'm going to put in... Hmm. I have a lot of trainer cards in this, don't I? I'm going to take out a Pokeball. And the Item Finder. It's, it's come into play, but yeah, it's only one of them. It's fine. Gust of Wind, I'd rather have that. And let's do one more. And I'm going to take out the, this line for now. Until I get more of them. In its place, I will put, uh... Another seal? Yeah, why not? Alright. Are we going for a badge already? Let's do it. I am Gene, the master of the Rock Club. Rock is good. Isn't Rock good? Rock is hard and strong. Doesn't crumble under pressure. After you duel me, uh, you'll know I'm right. That was weird how it split that up. Come, show me what you're made of. Here comes the awesome music as well. You won't get the rock man unless you defeat me. It's basically a, a cross between Professor Oak and Brock. Lapras is a great lead. It's bulky and slow. It only takes one energy to be annoying. Ah, damn. Same with that. How do I want to handle this? Lapras. Play the bill. If I can get a Hitmonchan, it'd be great. Energy, I'll take it. Yeah. Rhyhorns and Onyxes. They don't hit very hard, but they're bulky. That's fantastic, but I don't want to use up... I don't want to throw away a potion and three fighting energy, so... 
I'm gonna use Confuse Ray instead of uh, Hydro Pump. Or, yeah, it is Hydro Pump for Water Gun. What is it? No, didn't even bother to attack. I now have two potions. I rather I'm not gonna want to lose all those. So, <sighs> if I can get War Turtle, this will not be a, this will not be a waste. Because I believe Bite only takes one water and two colorless. Now he's water gun. Oh, Diglett. Diglett dig, Diglett dig. I really don't need more energy. I need a Pokemon is what I need. I could have looked for a water Pokemon, I guess. Or a water energy and put it on uh, Lapras or Squirtle. Alright, well, he's dead next turn. Ooh, right on. I will search for a water energy. And I will put it on Lapras to beef up my uh, water gun more. 30 might be the maximum, because normally you can't boost it more than 20. And it only does 10, so... Diglett! You're dead. Ooh. That actually... That... Well, no, he already has a fight. Never mind. Alright, bye Diglett. I love Diglett. Dutria was my first fully evolved Pokemon in uh, Pokemon Blue when I first played it. Carried my team for a while. Glass Cannon. Fast, hit pretty hard, but no HP or defenses. I should have used Confuse Ray instead. But, this way I 3-hit KO it. Rather than 4. I really want those Geodudes out of my party. They're not good. I, I forgot to take them out. They rely too much on coin flips, which I don't like. Another thing I like to do. Uh, one. Use bulky, non-evolving Pokemon. Uh, two. Don't rely on coin flips that much. It's a bonus, if I can, but... Um... I have so many fighting energies in my hand. I guess I'll do this, because I mean, that's all I can do. Alright. Bye, Onyx. This has been very easy. We got lucky. I think he got screwed over on energy or something. Or it's just his picks, what he got. Water energy. That's good for Squirtle. Mm, I'm not putting that down. Well, this is the fight. Two more turns and I win my first badge. And we've been playing for like an hour. That's not bad. Mm, Rattata. Oh, thank you. Yep, I'm doing a 24-hour stream. I'm on game two. I did a Final Fantasy 1 randomizer earlier. took about eight hours. Now I'm on this. After this, I'm going to be playing Swator. Hey. I'll be honest, I'm feeling the tired a little bit. And I'm not even halfway through. I am going to enjoy the sleep that I get tomorrow. Because I am going to be knocked out. Oh, whatever, let's just win. Oh, I didn't see he put, put a Geodude down. Oops. Uh oh. Oh, that's fine. I'll still do 10 damage. Also, I'm going to try to confuse him. I'm just going to bank on getting a War Turtle. Hmm. <laughs> Yep, confused, right? It won't hurt him, but it will do nothing. Never mind. I could have done 10 damage. I'm pretty sure Harden only takes off 20. Alright, Brock Oak. Um, 
I'm tempted to use this, but I would be losing so many good cards. This and the fighting energies. And... Plus, I have no room for anything anyway. Okay. Also, Lapras, one of my favorite Pokemon to use. It fits my description. Lapras, Scyther, Pinsir, uh, Kangaskhan, Electabuzz, Magmar from Fossil. Just decently bulky, decently strong. Oh, I mean, you had to lose energy for that, so. Squirtle has five energy for some reason. <clears throat> Last turn. Maybe. Yep. The rock badge is mine. Only seven more to go. Wait, I'm... He keeps, like, sneaking in these Geodudes. I'm not paying attention. There's Hitmonchan, and I have no room on the bench. Awesome. I need to take out the Geodudes. I also need to take out the Rattatas. They're okay. 20 damage for 1 energy? Not bad, but they have no survivability at all. They have 30 HP. He does not want to admit defeat, does he? Um, I don't need to put anything down. I cannot believe Lapras is still in the front right now. Hasn't died yet. Yeah, why not? I think that's the maximum I can do. For uh, Hydro Pump. And we win. Or do we? Do how many more? How many more? Okay, yeah, we do. I've already said we've won like five times, but we win now. <laughs> what? He even says wonderful like Professor Oak. Wonderful! Persistence, persistence that can even break rock has led you to defeat me. You are worthy of receiving this rock medal. And take this booster pack, too. Alright, something good. That is not. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't want to use it. Farfetch is actually pretty good. For one energy, you have a chance to do 30 damage. If it fails, you can only use it once. But it's not terrible. That's also really good. Uh, Volpex. Energy removals are great. Uh, different Meowth. Come on, come on. Dragonair is actually decent. Dragonite is not. Dragonite has Slam, which is, I, it's coin flips. Lickitung is what I was talking about. Tongue Wrap does 10 and can paralyze. Supersonic can fuse, and it has 90 HP. This is a great lead, bulky Pokemon. Eh, Lightning Energy. All right. So I was going to take out the Geodudes. I'm going to keep this going because I have plenty of fighting uh, energy in this, so I need to make sure I have plenty of fighting Pokemon. Also, I'm going to take out... That's fine. Lapras is great. Yeah, this is fine. I think. I do want to put this in here. I need to get rid of a trainer card. I have too many trainers. Uh... Oh yeah, I want energy removal too. I want everything. Take out the Pokeball. Well, take out the Defender. Take out the Full Heal. There we go. Good enough. Alright. Stream Raiders. We are getting through so many Stream Raider fights tonight. Why did that minimize? That was weird. Here we go. Go, stabby me. They just miss attacking me. 
All right, fight over. Simple enough. Uh, barbarians and bombers. All right, Julie gets a barbarian, and I, Ayak twenty three gets uh one bomber. I might have said bomber twice. I don't even know anymore. All right, I'm gonna keep putting down a barbarian until it levels up. Oh, yeah, a few more. All right, back to the game. If we can just get one more Hitmonchan, or a Hitmonlee especially, or even a Scyther, because it uses Colorless, we'll be in pretty good shape. I'm going to save it in case Ronald shows up. Also save it in-game. No, stop. Game, stop, please. Okay. Nope, no Ronald. So the fact that I have fighting Pokemon and water, where should I go next? Mm. You go fire. Water would be nice there. Although I think the fireplace is considered a little harder. They probably have like better decks and stuff. I'm burning with Pokemon fever today. One day I'm going to inherit the legendary cards. Mm -hmm. Uh... Okay. This guy, if you give him all your energy, he'll give you a crappy card. I'm not trying to collect all the cards this time, so I'm not going to be doing that. You know the empty house on the Cape to the Northwest? That's Ishihara's house. Isn't it nice to have friends? Way to rub it in. Thank you. Alright. It's fire time. Hey, look. It's, the, it's, my, it's me from Pokemon Red and Blue. This is the Fire Club, where guys with a burning passion for Pokemon trading cards get together for heated duels. Join the fiery fun. Alright, well, he looks edgy. Bum, 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 bum. Can I say Weevil from <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, Rattatas are still in the, gr are still in the, uh, thing. Oops. I have a gust of wind, though, to play around with the... Their, their, uh, bench. That's fun. Well, there goes 20 of my HP, but I will kill him immediately. Bye. This is why Hitmonchan is so good. Just 20 damage that early. Oh, hey, Shadow. Thank you. I am Ash past his prime. How old is Ash? Certainly seem to have oh. a way with words. I am assuming direct control. Thank you for the host. How old is Ash in the anime? Like 12, 13, 14, somewhere in there. I am Ash who retired from regular Pokemon and is now just playing a card game. Oh, I won. Look at that. Oh yes, right, he's ten. That was really hot. You're the greatest. Here, let me give you this. Come on, something good. Pokemon Breeder's fantastic if you want to do three-stage Pokemon, which I do have one in my deck. Haunter, Kakuna, War Wartortle's good. I could use that for later. Yeah, fire energy, though. Digioto, Rapidash, Energy Retrieval's nice. Mm, and that's it. Nothing that great. Hey, does everyone have the fever? Do you have the fever? If you have Pokemon fever, duel with me. It's called Pokerus. I have a Rattata. That is all. Please let me go first. Okay. Charmander. I have Eradicate. I also have a bill I can use. Let's keep chaining the bills. Goldeen. He only does scratch for 10, right? That means I will actually win this fight. Rattata versus Charmander. Yes! 
I love seeing Hitmonchan. <laughs> Hitmonchan and Lapras are like the savior of my team. Oh no. Well, he's already halfway dead. Mm, a lot of water. Oh, not Gust of Wit. No. No, Goldie. <laughs> well, that is some cooked fish. That's okay, though. He's dead now. Uh, they don't even have any. Wow, nothing on the bench, huh? All right. That has energy. I'm going all in on Hitmonchan. That's all I got. Oh, it's full picks. An overly cute Pokemon. <laughs> Not a bad thing. Ooh, your second favorite. What is your favorite? I'd say I could take a guess, but... Oh, my deals. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Mm. Do you like... How do you feel about Alolan, Vulpix, and Ninetales? I really like them. I like most Alolan and Galar forms. I think they're well-designed. And they add, like, a fun spin on old, on old Pokemon. Oh, you don't like them? Oh, but... Is it because of the typing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna I was say, I get that. Just based on their design, though, I do really like them. Hello, and Sandshrew? That is Ice Steel, isn't it? Cool combination. Yeah, I should have done 40. Oh, well. Takes two to kill, anyway. Um... Wow, Hitmonchan hasn't been touched yet. I think we win. Just a thought. Ooh! What's your favorite evolution? Speaking of, um, Eevees. Mine's probably Espeon. I've always liked Espeon. Umbreon's also great. Um, Vaporeon's cool. Jolteon was my favorite for a while, but I, I don't know. For some reason I just kind of stopped. <laughs> Hard to explain. I am not a huge fan of Leafeon or Glaceon. I felt like both of them were kind of like... Mm. Sorry about that. There we go. Well, we win. Ooh, Coliseum packs. These are somewhat new. We haven't gotten one yet, I don't think. Mag I think we have one. Magneton, Dabra. Not much in that one. Computer Search is great. Uh, Charmeleon. Nah. So we got a Computer Search. That's about all we got out of it. Um... Leafeon instead of Glaceon? I can see that. Also, Leafeon's a physical attacker, which is kind of rare for the evolutions. Let me think about it. Vaporeon uh, and Jolteon are both special. Flareon's physical, but Flareon's like a weird mixed one. Uh, Umbreon's defensive. Espeon is 
pure physical attack. Or special attack, I mean. So it's kind of nice to have, like, a physical one. Mmm. Take a potion. He actually looks normal. Huh. Well, normal. Uh. Lapras, yes, great. Ooh, and two bills. And I get to go first. How do you feel about um Galarian Ponyta and Rapidash? Them being basically uh like rainbow like a rainbow Pegasus. I like them. What's their typing? Fairy... Psychic? No. Another fairy. Alright. I have a lot of fighting energy. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I have one water energy and that's all I got. All this energy, it's such a waste. I can't do anything with it. Oh, I forgot you could do that. Well, well haha, joke's on you. <laughs> They have a Kangaskhan. I really like Kangaskhan on my team. Fetch is so good. You'll run, you'll run yourself out of cards eventually, but... Eh. Why? Oh yeah, I forgot to put that in my deck. I have a Lickitung now. Oh. Oh, I can actually get a water energy by way of a uh, trainer. Mm. Potion. I'll potion up. Also, I kind of like the, the effect of some of the moves in this game. Like, the Lick one is kind of funny to me. It's just... <laughs> Eh, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna do Confuse Ray first. Good. Okay. Ah. And now I will proceed to Water Gun. Yes! I have so many fighting energies in my hand. I'm gonna put one on Goldeen just because I can. Yes. Hit yourself in confusion. Okay. Professor Oak is cool. But if I use it, I will dump uh, six fighting energy. That's not great. I will hold off on that. That is like half my fighting energy. Oh, hey, hey Tauros. How you doing? Okay. Do I go for the 30 damage or do I go for the 10 damage with Confusion? See, he has Rampage. The more damage he has on him, the more damage he does. But he could also... Well... Hmm. I mean, I have nothing after Lapras, so... Computer Search. Uh, fighting Energy and... Do wrong. I'm going to take... Guess who? Hitmonchan. 
I'm going to start beefing him up, up on the bench. Taurus is weak to fighting, which means if I do this, I can... Yeah, we'll do, we'll do this. It was a risk-reward situation. It's 20 less damage, but if I had confused him, we would have been in a good place. Now I'm probably... Okay, well, there goes that. Oh, well, he's confused anyway. If I got it, are you still working on OBS stuff? No! I hit the button too many times. Oh, man. That's a waste. Perfect. Lapras is still beating his team. Remote play? Yep. Luckily, PS4 can do that. Although, I've heard it doesn't work great sometimes. But... I think there was a time period where it just wasn't working right at all. Kangaskhan! Only one energy. Fetch. I am going to retreat. Wow. Oh, why do you have to throw out Vulpix as a sacrifice? That makes sense. Um, display capture. Um, wait a minute. Display capture should work. Display capture literally displays anything. Like your desktop, but... But if you're doing a window and you can't make the window bigger, then yeah, window is better. Otherwise, you just see a bunch of desktop behind it. You resist fighting, but I will still kill you in four turns. a long fight. I have the clear advantage. It's just, this is a long fight. Oh, hello, Gust of Wind. This is why Gust of Wind is such a, is such a lame thing to use. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, you have one of those laptops. I do too. They're a pain. Because sometimes you can't tell it to use the right one. Colosseum pack. Magneton. I have a lot of Magnetons. Growlithe. Hey, look, Shadow, it's Growlithe. Daily Puff, Ponyta, Abra. Ugh. I'm not liking these packs for what I need. That's good. If I can get some more Magikarp and one more Gyarados, I would love to run that in my, in my, hand, in my deck. Bill is always fantastic. That's why it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Or does it? Did Bill ever come back? I know I know Professor Oak didn't. Or did it? I don't remember now. I'm a little out of data when it comes to Pokemon cards. Okay, I was gonna throw in take these out, please. Take out the Mayoth as well. I'm gonna throw in a Farfetch'd and a Lickitung. And a Snorlax for fun. I'm gonna add a Bill. That's it for that. Did I get anything else I wanted to add? I don't think I did. Don't see anything. Oh yeah, the Gyarados thing. I do have one magic carpet. I have two. Ooh, you know what? I'm adding it. I'm adding it. I'm getting rid of the Goldine Seeking line. Works for me. I know that some games do not like uh, display capture, or window capture, or game capture. They're all kind of different. KOTOR only works on display capture. I don't know why. 
I am Ken, the Fire Club Master. So you are collecting medals to inherit the legendary cards? What? You have almost no cards. If you wish to duel me, go... I forgot that was a thing. I actually need to get more cards before he'll take me seriously. Alright, well, I'll be back. Jerk. Uh, it is gonna be after this. So in probably, like, six hours. Maybe. I'm not even halfway through the stream. <laughs> Ugh. Alright. Isn't it nice when caffeine actually works for you? Because it doesn't work for me. Okay. Email. You have collected many cards. I have some information about Ken's deck. He's the master of the Fire Club. His deck consists of fire Pokemon. Who would have thought? And colorless Pokemon. Pit a water Pokemon against a fire Pokemon and fighting... And a fighting Pokemon against the colorless. That's perfect, because that's what I have. Ooh. Yes, a second Lapras. That is good. That is going in my deck. You've seen how good Lapras has been so far. Lapras, and I'm going to take out... Get a seal. Alright. We're doing good. So I need more cards to fight the fire guy. I'm going to go to water. Water, I think, is supposed to be one of the first ones you do. It's pretty... It's... They require, like, less uh, less prizes and stuff. Sarah and Amanda of the Water Club are twins. No wonder they look so much alike. Thanks. So you know Ima, uh, Ima Kuni? He's a suspicious-looking guy dressed all in black. You'll find him dancing away in the lounge of one of the clubs. He stands out, so it shouldn't be too hard to identify him. But maybe you shouldn't go near him. Don't go near him. Don't. You don't use fire Pokemon cards here at the Water Club. I have this rare Arcanine, but I prefer Lapras. If you a Lapras, would you mind trading it for my Arcanine? Not right now. If I get an extra Lapras, I'll come back. I like my two Lapras. All Amy. Uh, the Reapers are here. Ooh. Raid. Thank you for the raid, uh, Gagamesh. I am almost halfway done with my 24 hour birthday stream. I'm feeling the tired a bit. I'm currently playing, uh, well, oh, what the, that's fine, stupid auto mod. Alright, we only have one badge so far though, so, long way to go. All Amy, the master of this club, does lately is sleep. She's bored because she doesn't have anybody to duel. Well, let's go do that. Oh, it's easy, thank you. Yeah, this place is actually... Probably pretty easy, I think. I played this a lot growing up. You ever play a game so much that the music, it, like, is just burned into your brain, and when you're not playing it, you can hear it? That's what this game did to me. Want to take a swim, or would you rather duel? I think I'll duel. <laughs> Final Fantasy VIII. Good one, good one. Eight has great music. Far-fetched. I'm gonna go for that immediate 30 damage. Two prizes. Going for it. And I got it. You can only do that once. And now I'm stuck in here with only one energy. That's okay. Uh, Bill. You know what? I don't like that energy on Psyduck. Mm. I'll use a water on him. <laughs> and he got the, they got the Psychic right back. I got a nice pot smash. I love that animation. It's just a pot. Well, this fight's almost over, because it's only two prizes. Headache. I think that means I can't use trainer cards this turn. Yep. And you know what? I am fine with that. 
One more pot smash and I win. You win. Farfetched one. I'm glad that's in the deck now. Okay, anything good. Second Gyarados. If I can get a third Magikarp, I will do three Magikarp and two Gyarados. That'd be great. Uh, Phil Hill is okay. I mainly prefer um, fighting Pokemon in this game with some grass types and some water types, depending on what I'm doing. There are still good Psychic and Fire as well, but I don't know. The way that I build the deck, I prefer, that's just what I prefer. Water Energy. I have so many Magnetons. Professor Oak is fantastic. Put that bit, put that in the deck immediately. Alright, one second. I'm gonna do this before I forget to. I have too many trainer cards. I need to get rid of one. Uh... Yeah, that. If I can get another Hitmonlee or Hitmanchan, that'd be great. Alright, so what do I have to do? Renegade Snack, Renegade Hydrate. Yay. Well... How about some nice room temperature celery? Everyone likes that. Oh, it's warm. Ew. I really don't like the celery one. Carrots are not that bad. Oh. I don't like celery. Oh. Or that. This is unsweetened black tea combined with unsweetened green tea. It's not good. Alright. Doesn't it feel good to relax by the pool? Isn't it wonderful to duel in a place like this? Eh. Oh. I have no Pokemon. It's a celery in my mouth. All right. We have Seal and Rhyhorn. Seal. Rhyhorn's only weak to grass and not water, which means he's not bad here. Bill is perfect. Blastoise. Oh, we got a ride on. I know what I'm doing. Hey, Seal, you want to stay in there and take the hits while I do this? Okay. Ooh, another Bill. Hiding at the bottom of the pile. Lapras is also fantastic. Uh, ooh, Paragon stuff as well. And what's much better than Celery? Cheez-Its. I'm a little low on Cheez-Its right now. I can get a Magikarp. Ooh. They have a Scyther. Scyther might be a grass type, but it only requires uh, colorless to go, which means it's great for like any deck you can build. Just fun to throw in. I am all in on Rhydon right now. Speaking of which... Alright, they have an almond item bench. But my seal's only half dead. Mm. Water on Lapras. And go. I don't want to use the Professor Oak because I don't want to lose one of my old, I don't want to lose my only Gyarados. 
Professor Oak's a great card, but you lose what you throw away, so. If I could just get a Magikarp to pop up, it would be great. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised about something. I've had these ring lights on, these two ring lights on, for about 11 and a half hours. I'm surprised my eyes aren't bothering me. Like, I might, I'm not seeing it burnt into my eyes when I close my eyes, like I normally do. Maybe I'm getting used to it. I have turned them down a little bit. Mm, I'm gonna do Lapras. Mm, I won't use that yet. Yeah, Sniffly. This is going to seem really weird, but I'm going to computer search for a magic card. I have two magic cards. There it is. We probably will never need to use it, but just for fun. I can't put this down the first turn. I have it. Okay. All right. First Pokemon down. And I got hit, Munchan. One of the VIPs of this deck. Ooh, Wigglytuff. Almanite, that was not very impressive. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, Riddose. We'll speed this up a little bit by just using a Professor Oak. <sighs> okay. Could use the Pokeball, but I really don't need to. There's my other magic art. Now, Wigglytuff, I believe, has the move Do the Wave, which does more damage based on how many Pokemon are on the bench. The fact that they have Mysterious Fossils is cool because they count. But right now, they only have three. So, a oh, lullaby. Okay. I get that switch into my deck, please. It's in my hand. Never mind. Horn attack. Yep, Wigglytuff is also weak to fighting, which technically this is what Rhydon is in this game. There is no rock type in, in Pokemon trading card game. This fighting is fighting and rock and ground. That kind of like bug is um grass is grass and bug. And sometimes poison depending on the uh set. I think it was switched over. I think Poison was switched over to Psychic at some point. Like, Poison-only Pokemon. Uh, die. Oh, the Resistance. That's right. I forgot about that. Wheeling Toast everywhere. Um, there goes all my energy, but for a good reason. Get rid of those. I didn't know Gyarados existed my first time through Pokemon. When I found that Magikarp, I was like, this is stupid, I'm not using it. <laughs> Little did I know. Boom. Anything good? Not that. That's good. No, nope, not really. Art I would love Articunos or even some Zapdos. Moltres is the one I don't want out of the three birds. I don't want Moltres. Moltres has Dive Bomb, which is, uh, if Tails, for four, for four energy, do 80 damage, but it's 50-50. Wow. Those were not good packs. All right.
This game really embraces the RNG of pack openings when you play this game. The person resting over there is Amy, the clubmaster. If you wish to duel Amy, uh, go defeat Sarah and Amanda first. Then I will test her skill. Well, I, I already did that. Thank you. Alright. Oh, he looks happy. Not for long. <laughs> no basic Pokemon, huh? I will start Stream Raiders in a second. I forgot that it popped. Alright. Here we go. Now, Shadow, both your guys are alive. So, whoever you had in the middle of nowhere is fine. Except now it's going to die because they're... Alright, well, they died. <laughs> they both died at the end. Uh, Julie gets 50 gold and Shadow gets 25 gold and I get a bomber. Well, buster. I keep calling it a bomber. It's a buster. Uh, I'm going after this uh, token chest right here. So we'll do the gold. Mm, how about a nice musketeer? Not my favorite candy bar, but I'll take it. All right. Lapras is all I have. Well, Lapras, you know, Lapras is, great, is a great starter. Going first is such an advantage in this game. Hitmonchan is great. This deck has improved. Infi it's just infinitely better now that I tweaked it a little bit. Took out the the third type in the in the deck, which is never a good idea. All right. I'm just gonna beef up Hitmonchan since I have no more water energy. Oh, you! It's like he heard me. Well, I can't do anything. I hate, I hate for this to be Lapras's fate. I like Lapras as a Pokemon and a card. Well, if that's the case. Wow, I would have waited a long time for a water energy. I will use a potion to prolong Lapras's life. That's a weird fight. It's just 10 damage, 10 damage, 10 damage, 10 damage. Ooh, like this one. Well, Hitmonchan's ready to go. I feel like this would be a waste, but I can... Oh, that's not, because I can kill Seal right now. It's 10 less damage to me. Ooh, another Lapras. Nice. Or was that their Lapras? Did I just... Hold on. Yeah, um... I had a Lapras kill the active Pokemon, got a Lapras as the prize, and they put out Lapras. That confused me. Too many Laprases. I should have gone for the Confuse, right? Probably. No, not really. No, we're good. We're good. I could do this, but it's like I'm. I, I, uh, yeah, why not? Yep. That way, uh, Special Punch will knock him out now. If I die here. And I might not. Aha! No energies for you. Alright. Lapras... Hitmonchan and Lapras are definitely the VIPs of my team right now. Lapras puts in so much work every time. And Hitmonchan is just the destroyer. 
They do have a Kingler on their bench, though. That's kind of scary. Mm. I'll save it. Might get to retreat something. Who knows? There it is, Kingler. With only one energy. Never mind. Oh, a gust of wind. Oh, hey, Cloyster that's getting set up. Get some damage on you. I need to hit this thing three times regardless, so I'm going to go for a Confuse Ray. Oh, well. Special Punch kills it now. I'm dead. I've been clamped. Prepare for Hitmonchan. Now, I can't kill this in one hit, obviously, but... You know, more, uh, oh, what, why'd you put the energy on Horsey? I don't know. That was odd. Kingler probably has a retreat cost of two. Oh, Flail. Oh, I forgot I had Flail. Eh, it kind of worked for, out for him. Didn't have to do that, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> Energy right back. We're going for our second badge. Give me something good, please. I will take. Now, I really don't want more than two Laprases in the deck. I could go back and give it to that one person for that Arcanine, which I'll never use, but... It is an extra card. I need more cards to fill out the Pokedex, the card decks, to be able to fight the fire guy. So, that's one extra card I could have. Persian. Serious Fossil. Uh, that pack was kind of meh. This is the bad one, isn't it? Yeah, this, well, this one's the Game Boy weird one. Um, Those were not great packs. Amy, wake up. What's going on? I was enjoying my little nap. Uh, what? You lost? How could you? Was it Wes? I will be your next opponent. I, Amy, the master of the water club. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go give this Lapras to somebody first. Not you. It was you, right? Yes. I actually have this card. This is the promotional Arcanine card. Quick Attack and Flames of Rage. I'll never use it, but it's an extra card. Now I will face you. I got nothing new to add to the deck from that, did I? Hmm. Alright. Oh. There we go. Water Club Master Amy. Go Go Rain Dance deck. Alright. Good start. You can actually really abuse that and put like four Pokemon in your deck and just keep going that until you get one, but I don't have to do that. Uh, Hitmonchan, please. Alright. Yes! 20 damage right off the bat. And all they have is a Goldeen and a... Goldeen. Alright. Could this be the fastest badge in history? Hmm. No, probably not. I'm assuming people have won this with like in like one turn. <sighs> yeah, we're good. Like if that had been her only Pokemon and it was weak to fighting, it'd be dead already. I'm going all in on Hitmonchan, like always. Oh, I got a build. Nice. A little scary. If she hadn't up evolved that, I would have won. But, it's looking pretty good for me. Here comes the plus power. Nah, she got a squirtle on the bench. Right. 
The fight continues. I should have put it on Lick a Tongue first. Oh well. Get Monchan putting the work as always. Ooh, Pokeball. I can look for a Gyarados if I get a if I get a never mind. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't paralyze me either. Oh. Bubble. Wasn't Bubble removed from the game? I'm pretty sure Bubble was taken out of the game because it was so weak. Um. I could kill Squirtle in one hit. But only if I'm not paralyzed next turn. Alright. <sighs> Things aren't great. I mean, they're not bad, but they're like I... Mm. Uh... Lapras. If Squirtle doesn't paralyze me this turn, I will put a, another uh, energy on him and kill it in one hit before it evolves. All right. I think it's worth it. Before she gets a War Turtle on the next turn. Yeah. I'm also going to use Computer Search. Although I'm going to wait until I get something better to give away. All right. I want to get a Gyarados. Bubble! I'm dead either way. I don't blame them for getting rid of a move called Bubble that has like 20 power. Alright. Computer search the Rhyhorn and the energy removal away. And I will take a Gyarados, please. Hopefully it's not prized. It is not. Garrus is almost ready to go. For 3 energy, you can do 50, or for 4, four energy, you can do uh, 40, but also paralyze. Ooh, hello. Alright, if I could just retreat now at some point. A switch would be nice. I'm gonna do this. Kind of a waste of a double colorless, but I'm just gonna go for it. Nope, already did that. Nope, stop. <laughs> Hands work, please. Oh, that's all she had. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to her bench. Oh no, I lost? Well, since I lost, you can have this water medal. This should get you a step closer to inheriting the legendary cards. That aren't that good, honestly. Here you can also have these. They should come in handy. Ooh, laboratory packs. Oh, it's a muck. I like muck. I don't know why I like muck as a Pokemon. I just do. That is a fossil magmar. That's cool if I want to make a fighter deck. Haunter. Pokedex is actually pretty cool. You look at the top five cards in your deck and rearrange them however you want. Kind of fun. And yeah, those weren't great. I want more Hitmon chance and I want a Hitmon Lee. And I want uh, one more Magikarp and Gyarados, and I think we're pretty much set after that. And I would like an, Ar uh, an Articuno to add as well. That'd be a nice deck. Uh oh. Hi, Wes. How you doing? So you won the second medal. You must have really been lucky. I'll see how good you really are. Come on, let's duel. We'll play with six prizes. If you win, I'll give you a really rare card. That's probably not good. Look at the name of this deck. I'm Ronald deck. Nice. Ego. Okay. Squirtle, Seal, Seal, Dugong, Rhyhorn. I'm going to throw Rhinehorn out as fodder and set up a seal for Dugong. Good. Yep, I'm 
gonna get that steel going. Mm. Wyvern's pretty good fodder. 70 HP. Not weak to water either. Unfortunately, I have no more energy. Now, I could use one or two for ice beam. There's no free status in this game, so I believe Ice Beam just has a chance to paralyze. Well, that'll buy me more time. Or do I want to waste it? Be honest, Rhyhorn is not that good. It's honestly not that good. I, I'm going to take this out next. It's okay. I think 4 for 50 and also doing 20 to myself is kind of not great. Okay. If I remember correctly, Ronald's decks are never that good. Especially his last his last deck as a champion at the end. <laughs> Spoilers. Uh, he has like three or four types in his deck and it just makes him not play very well. What do I want to do here? I'll let him kill me. Very slowly with headbutts. I got plenty of fighting energy. I could do this, but it'd be kind of a waste. I'll keep him. Nothing I can do. I could switch and save it, but it already has 50 damage on it. Oh, well, I'm dead now. I, waited, wa I made him waste his plus power. Alright. Dugong is my only hope right now. I can't... Here's the thing. I can't kill him. I don't have enough rice beam anyway, so... Incoming headbutt. Good. That could be good. I could look for a War Turtle, but I really don't have the water energy for it. You know what? I don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just kill it. Water energy, nice. Here comes the bubble. Oh, you... 10 damaging, 10 power moves that paralyze are so annoying. I could really use some actual Pokemon. Um, don't you paralyze me. I took out the full heal. Ooh, that could be useful. Not right now, because I'm paralyzed, but... Hmm. Didn't mean to do that, but now I have Ice Beam, so... Would you stop? This is the game at its worst. I'm going to switch out, just so I can dump the deal with that. Also going to gust to win the growl with him. Bubble. And see, I don't get the paralysis. Can you kill me in one hit? No, you can't. Okay, this way. To get the paralysis, I win this fight. Where are all the Pokemon in my deck? Paralyze. Yes. Squirtle lives. Mm. 
so much energy, but no Pokemon. <laughs> We're doing good. We've taken two prizes. I have a Dugon that's still in the fight, you know, at half health. That's a Marowak. Okay. I hate, I really don't want a Professor Oak all this energy away. I really don't. Okay, I'm gonna go for the kill. Alright, another one down. That's one thing that won't become a War Turtle or Blastoise. I have... That's like worst case scenario. To have two Professor Oaks in your in your hand. Because it's going to waste one of them. You're gone. Finally something. Are you weak? To, you're weak to grass, aren't you? Yep. Because of that, I'm going for the Ice Beam. Didn't work out, but that was my best bet. Although if I had gun for the 50, Seal could have killed it in the next turn. Oh well. Or I will live. That works too. Ocean. That was probably stupid, but whatever. He only has one Pokemon left on his bench. What? What is it? Oh, it's a Squirtle. Well, unless he paralyzes me, I win. We win. The rare card is probably not good. But you never know. Take that, Ronald. With your triple-type deck. I wasn't really trying that hard. Well, loss is a loss, so I'll have to give you this card. Oh, it's that, oh, it's a promotion Jigglypuff. First aid and double edge. Remove one damage counter. That, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's not great. It won't be so easy next time. See ya. Oh, then. Do I have enough cards to face the Fire Club leader? Probably not. Oh, I do. Ooh. Did I get any new cards I want to use? Oh, yeah, I was going to take uh, Rhyhorn and Rhydon out of the party. They're not great. But if I do that, who do I use instead? Onyxes are kind of fun. Use them. If I had more Machokes, I could do that line, but I don't. I want more Fighting Types because I have so many Fighting Energy in the deck. I need to put more Fighting Types in. Guess I'll just do these again. I'll do two and one. Going right for a third. Oh, we're about halfway through the stream. Hey. It's only downhill from here, technically. Lickitung is a fantastic lead. Plenty of HP, and it's annoying. I think I've gone first like three times total. Oh, speaking of annoying leads. Okay. I have nothing but energy. It's gonna scrunch next turn. Yep. Good, it failed. 
If they get heads, uh, it basically prevents all damage, which is super annoying. I'm gonna go for Super Sonic. <sighs> Coin flips are not in my favor today. Oh, you're going for the double edge. Uh-oh. I need to get that confusion off. Keep that fighting. Yes, okay. The paralysis might have been better to, to like, you know, keep it from doing anything potentially next turn, but this is an ongoing constant effect. Now I'll start paralyzing. Parafusion. Welcome to my nightmare. But I'm the one that gets to do it. Oh, there goes all the damage I put on him. Alright. Man, if I could get a Hitmonchan, it'd be super nice. Nope, I'm not letting you set that up. I'm putting some damage on this thing first. Ten hole damage. That's going to add up quickly. Oh, it's Snorlax. Are we going to are we going to power up a Snorlax? I kind of want to. Also, what choice do I have? There he is, after I already put the one fighting energy on Snorlax. All right. No, I'm going all in on Snorlax. Yes. This is why Lickitung is a great lead. It's super annoying. And for not evolving Pokemon, has a lot of HP. I don't get much in now. Aww. This won't kill me. I don't think. I believe he needs one more energy to be used Rampage. Oh, God, more chances. Okay, we're fine. Paralysis next turn. Uh, they lose. Well, they lose their Taurus anyway. So relax. Alright, Taurus is dead. Unless they have a switch or a full heal. That's a scary Arcanine. Also, they just put an energy on Tauros to waste it. Okay. Works for me. Doo -doo. Water energy here. Oh, oh no. Oh, bye, Lickitung. Well, Chansey's dead now. Mm. I'll bank on a Gyarados. The one Gyarados in my deck. Bye, Chansey. Ooh, Bill. Arcanine scares me. And that's why. Well, there goes that. Go, Snorlax! Come on, Gyarados. Well, I have a computer search, so there's Gyarados right there. Oh, now I got that, after I wasted four energy on something. Alright. Guy here, Squirtle. Get out of here, Lapras. Gyarados. It's in my prizes. Crap. Well, I will take another hit on champ then. Of course I missed it. Here comes all the damage. I'll live it. But it's gonna hurt a lot. Ow. 
All right, Hitmonchan, fighting energy on Hitmonchan. I mean, Snorlax did his job. It killed something and it sponged a lot of damage. Missing the paralysis didn't help, though. Oh, yeah, Snorlax can't be put to sleep. Isn't that what his thing is? Yep. Um. When I kill something, I have a chance to get a Gyarados, so. Missed it again. Do the wave. There's the move. Ow. I only have three prizes left. Gotta be careful here. Really tough is dead. Yes! Aha! I mean, the, this fight's probably over, considering it, he has a Growlithe with no energy on it. Still, though. Gyarados is a call for is a time to celebrate. They take out my Hitmonchan, they just unleash the Gyarados. Alright, last prize. Of course I'm doing this. Bye. 100 damage with uh, weakness and resistance. We have our third badge. This is going pretty good. If I can just get another Hitmonchan or a Hitmonlee to replace some stuff with, like those Rhydons, the whole Rhydon Rhydon, would be great. Zapdos. What is... What, oh, that, oh, that's right. This is Thunderstorm Zapdos from Fossil. Eh. That's good. Nothing else. Oh, it's Ninetales. Oh, Executor! Executor, I love Executor. He's so goofy. Okay. Well, that's number three. Alright, time for Scream Raiders. Go. Get a bit of a snack. Good job, team. We only had one casualty. I get a monk. Julie gets gold. And Mrs. Nana83 uh, gets a flying rogue. And now we're getting a loyalty token chest. If you've played plenty of matches on the channel before, you'll get more out of it. I'll do Barbarian again. Getting really close to leveling him up to 10. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, there it goes. Alright. Where to now? Hmm. If we can find the weird person, uh, what's his name? Emma, Emma, let's we'll see if we can find him. He will randomly spawn in one of these areas. Oh, you can hear his music when you go there. There he is. This guy is great to farm for packs. He gives you one of each pack every time you beat him. Huh? Who are you? Who? Me? You don't know who I am? I am the super musical star, Imakuni. I'll sing the polka rap. You dance. La di da, la di da. La di da, la di da. Hey, move those feet. Cards? You want a battle duel? Okay, but if I win, you dance. No deal. No deal, you are not gonna watch me dance. <laughs> I like this guy. His deck is also not that good. In fact, I think I've only lost to him like twice, ever. 
Lapras is the perfect opener. Good. I have a dugong. That's good. Alright. I know he has Drowsy and Hypno and has Slowpoke and Slowbro, I think. Ooh, Professor Oak. Nice. Now, I believe in order to get this guy to spawn, you can beat him, save the game, reset the game, and then do it again. And find him in one of the eight places. Again, great way to farm packs. Getting one of each is fantastic. In one fight, plus he's not even that hard to beat. Yep, slow folks. Uh-oh. During your turn, you may move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to Slowbro. Oh, so he soaks up damage. Okay. This is before Psy Shock was an actual move. Because Psy Shock in the game does not paralyze. Um, I don't want to throw away these energies, but... I guess I'll do that. I'll go for damage. Oh yeah, his own card confuses his own active Pokemon. You have to beat him three times to get it. He got through it. And of course he did a double flip heads. But I will live longer now. Um... Press rope. I just, I want to get through this game faster. I want to get through this fight faster. Magic Heart. Another Professor Oak. Bill. We just got everything we need to get Gyarados running. Magic Heart is on the bench. I can use Computer Search right now with the Onyx and the Blastoise since I'll never get that running. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to take the Blastoise out until I get more of them. Having just one is not that helpful. Oh, I saw Gyarados for a second. Alright. Already did that. Oh, yeah, it's Farfetch, too. Good. Oh, he's... Oh, I forgot. When you're confused and you're weak to your own type, you take, you take the double damage. Oh, that's brutal. Lapras might win this. Lapras has been an amazing addition to this team. Oh. Damage counter off? I mean, I still kill you. I know Pokemon decks tend to have more than six Pokemon in them. Like, six lines. I like to think of it as a Pokemon team, though. Just the idea that, like, it's the same Lapras. Oh, he actually got me with it. Eh. Oh, hey, Hitmonchan. Welcome to the party. Yeah, go ahead. We'll take the damage. He's gonna hit me with a pot now. Alright, Lapras did a lot of work. And now... Oh, why, why did I do that? Why'd I do that? Hitmon- he resists Hitmonchan. Oops. I have a switch. Bye. We might farm in Makuni for a bit. Get some good cards going. You're pretty good. I'll give you this booster pack. Don't tell anyone I lost, okay? Wigglytuff. Uh, potions are okay. Machop, man. That's great. Pokemon Trainer's not bad. Poke of Flute. Kingler. Gust of Wind is great. 
Aerodactyl is not something I'm going to use. Yes! Hitmonlee is actually pretty good. For 3, you do 50. And for 2, you have Stretch Kick. You can do 20 damage to a bench Pokemon without weakness and resistance. Good for picking people off. Oh, a Gambler! Gamblers are great! Um, shuffle your hand into your deck. Flip a coin. If heads draw 8 cards, if tails draw 1. The cool thing is, even if you fail it, you don't discard your cards. You put them back in the deck, which is nice. That's pretty good. Got some good cards out of that. I'm definitely going to tweak my deck real quick here. I'm going to take the work to this line out for now until I get more of them. Or a Pokemon Breeder, which I think I have one of, but... Mm. Um, nope, hold on. Yeah. Notice how I'm using less waters and more everything, <laughs> more fighting. Mm. Magikarp, Lapras. Kingler's not fantastic. Uh... I guess I'll keep it for now. Although... Mm, nah, whatever. Blastoise hasn't... That line hasn't been a factor in a long time. I'm just going to do one more Seal and Dugong. And then I'm going to do... Hitmonlee. And then one more Trainer card. Gambler. 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 Good. Deck's getting pretty good. Let's see if this works on the emulator anyway. What if I do this? And then reset the thing itself. Also do a save state just in case. And then reset. This should work the same as turning it off, so. Then we should be able to go around and just find them again. Where's your wacky music? There he is. Me again. I think Ibukuni is also in the second game, which never came over here. I believe it was only in Japan. However, uh, there's a fan translation. I hope to play it on stream someday for the first time. I have never played it. Never even seen it played. We have Magikarp and Lapras. I will take it. With one water energy. Onyx, which is a great stall. I feel like I have too many stalls in this deck. I have Onyx. I have Lickitung. I have Lapras. They're all kind of similar Pokemon. I feel like I should get rid of one of them. Lickitung can use either energies, so I feel like I should get rid of Onyx, probably. I like Lapras. Lapras has the ability to do more damage. Onyx only does 10 all the time. Look at Sun can also, again, use both energies, has more HP, and can confuse if I have to. Oh wow, this we're just gonna win right now. Oh, if I had one water energy, I would have won already. Although he can still hit himself in confusion next turn. If that wasn't a Pokemon, we win. Okay. We win. That was a nice fast battle for four boosters. Another reason why he's so easy. A lot of his basic Pokemon only have like 50 HP. Just kidding. Easiest four packs ever. We have Item Finder, plus power. Nothing great. Jolteon's not terrible. 
Rapid Edge is actually pretty good for a fighter type, if I want to make a fighter deck. As agility. Agility is a fun move. It does 20 damage and you like if you hit heads, you negate all damage next turn. Ooh, I got a Mew. Remember, these cards attached to the defending Pokemon. Choose an evolution Pokemon. You're your opponents, but turn the hot interesting. Eh. Then we'll ride on, some more of those. I really want another Hitmonlee. That'd be great. Fossil Magmar is good for a fighter deck. The Gambler. Alright, that wasn't bad. Let's uh let's go fight somebody else. We have two we have a Hitmonlee in the in the deck now. Let's go somewhere else. Um for the fighting deck. For a fighting club, I mean. I see you play the Pokemon trading card game. I'm not into dueling. I prefer collecting. By the way, would you happen to have a Parasect? I'm not going to use it, so have it. You're going to give it to me? I'll put it in my collection. Right away, I'll take good care of this card. Thank you, thank you. There's no trade? Okay. Just a few on your... Yeah, I'll be dueling with you kids, too. Do I have any new uh, email? Oh, I do. I have some information for your... Uh, I already beat her. I already beat her. Dragonite is so bad. Four energy for two coin flips and 40 times number of heads. That is awful. Nothing great. Uh, yeah, we already beat you two. Or did I? Yes! Now I just need another uh, magic art. Revive. In fact... Did I ever... No, I have two packs. Oh, cool. Oh, it's Charizard that I'll never use. It does good damage, but it requires so much discarding of, of energy. Uh, Super Potion's not bad. How many Magikarp do I have? No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Yep, only two. I have three Gyarados. Yep, once I get a second Magic Magikarp, uh, well, yeah, or third, I guess, I'll up it to, uh, okay, I'll still be here. I'm halfway through the screen now. I am Mitch, Master of the Fighting Club. I have to warn you that I will be unable to, you will be unable to defeat me. If you wish to duel me, you must first uh, defeat my pupils. My pupils are training at other gyms. See if you can find them all. Alright. Well, there's no one here. Yeah, thanks for keeping it up for alert. Where am I going to find... Uh, but I can't. Be I, but I can't beat girls who are this tough. You must be West. Mitch told me about you. Beating you will be much better than losing to those girls. Would you like to? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Found one. Yeah. Yeah. Also, get cramps when I'm trying to sleep later. That's always fun. Good start. Hydrate. Ah. Rhyhorn or Lickitung? Lickitung is a good choice. I don't go first, though. Oh, Mankey. Um... Use a bill before I decide what to do. Nope. <laughs> a little early for computer searching. I'll just do this. I believe Mankey has the ability Peak, where you can look at any of your prizes, or your opponent's prizes, I think. Might just be your own, I'm not sure. Hmm... 
Nope. Nope. Take that off. Oh, and also see... Oh, I didn't even see the Paragon Snack. Mm. I'm very low on Cheez-Its right now. I think I have some more upstairs. Problems everywhere. That's better. Hmm. Bunch of nothing. Oh, Mankey's dead. You know, I remember that episode pretty fondly. The Mankey episode where he becomes primate. And then the one that's later, where he trains the primate to fight in that tournament. Those are good episodes. This thing scares me. Except no energy. Good. Ooh, Lapras. Yay. See, if he gets two energy on him, he can start picking my guys off on the bench. <laughs> Michael is thinking. Lapras. This is going to take a while. What does your retreat cost? Three? There's a downside to it. Yeah, he's doing the Brock. He can see me, though. I don't... He doesn't fool me. I'm gonna get a switch. I'm Commander Shepard. Welcome aboard. Oh. Thank you for the follow. Dapper Gentlemancer. Good name. Good name. But welcome. I am, um, halfway through my 24-hour birthday stream, and I'll be honest, I am starting to feel it. Can I make it? Another... Uh, 12 hours. We'll find out. My record's 22. That was fun. I... That was a weird day. That was a... Hmm, was a weird day. Mm. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Rhyhorn. And Dugong. For a switch. For a switch. For a switch. There we go. Yeah, well, it's because I've been using it more when I haven't been streaming, so I'm, like, giving my legs a break. Have I put down a... No, I can't, can I? Mm -hmm. Alright. He might get a 20 damage on somebody. Nope. Oh, but he put Defender down. Nice. That's so many fighting energies. Uh, Fryhorn. Confuse Ray. This will go through the Defender. Never mind. Oh, hey, Magmar. Oh, hello, boosted Magmar. Ow. Yes! Hitmonlee is here. He's fun to use. Yeah. Also, if anything uses energy, I'm trying to, like, not do that. <laughs> Getting up and stretching is one thing, but... How much HP did he have? I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Yeah, look at Tom go. Oh, only 10. Okay. Also, it helps that when I get in between games, I have to get up and change stuff. Like, I have to change clothes and stuff. God, these things are so scary. Get away from me. I'm also weak to them. Uh, I'm gonna use up a little more of these, and then I'll start using that. Paralyze. Do, 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 do. Also, I'm a fidgeter. Like, I'm moving my legs around a lot of the time. In fact, I would love to look up how much fidgeting... Ow. Hold on. There we go. 
I was shifting my weight too far forward. I was sitting on my tailbone again. Oh. There we go. Um. But yeah, I fidget quite a bit. So I wonder, like, how many calories I burn a day just, like, moving around all the time. and mm, Or when I sleep. I move around a lot when I sleep. Apparently, like, every 15 to 20 minutes, I move. So... Enough to where I can actually wake myself up a little bit. I have a twin size mattress. Uh, because it, it fits me. I don't have a lot of space right now, so I use a twin size mattress because it like it fits me perfectly. And what am I doing? And because of that, when I move around, I move in place. I don't roll. I don't. I don't like. I don't use a big bed. I don't, like, roll over to one side, then roll over to the other. I kind of just, like, get up, I push myself, and then turn in place, and then, like, drop back down. You know it's been years since I fell out of that bed? I think last time I did it, I was sick. Like, it messed with my, uh, my head so much that I was not aware of where I was. So I'm pretty sure I fell out when I was sick. That'd be bad, because um, to my left, I have my nightstand, and to my right, I have my treadmill. Again, I have to use pretty much all the space I have available. I have no... Okay, you know what? Just, just go. Also, behind the treadmill is a wall, so if I ever went flying off the end of it, for some reason, some doing something stupid, I would hit a wall. That'd be good. Ooh, Bill. Ooh, a gambler. Ooh. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do that. That counts as two for retreating. Going to Hitmonlee. High jump kick. With fists for some reason. High jump kick. How many Hitmonlees do you have? How is your bench looking? Two damage counters, none. Okay. Let's do this. You have a retreat cost of one? You do not. Okay. What is your retreat cost? Oh, it is only one. I thought he would have put the fire on him and Lee to retreat it, to survive one more turn. Oh well. Guess they gave up. Computer mm. search is always handy. Also, I'm looking for that extra magic card. Another Hitmonchan. And two fighting energy. I believe I will be adding that. Is there anything I want to take out here? Uh, we don't need Onyx anymore. It's just not that useful. I'll keep these for now. Until I get more stuff. Uh, I'll add one more fighting energy. Okay. So we need to find three or two more fighter members. Please don't disturb me. I'm in the middle of a very important experiment. If I use Ditto now, this will happen. Okay. I don't understand science, but I understand Pokemon cards. I lost. Uh, Mitch. Master of the Fighter Club. His first strike deck is built for a quick attack, but it's weak against psychic Pokemon. So just you duel him using the deck from the psychic metal uh, deck machine. Here's a booster pack for you. Haunter, Ghastly, Magmar. Nothing great. Alright. Now I love playing this game for like 50 hours through play getting all the cards and making different decks. But since we're playing it on stream, I'm just gonna go with one deck for now. I might make another one if I get plenty of cards later. Maybe a Psychic Electric deck? Psy Shock deck? I usually went either Grass and Fighting, or Water and Fighting, or 
Psychic and Electric. I just like those combinations. No, we're not going in there yet. This is the Science Club. What kind of Pokemon are Science Pokemon? Training's so boring out... Uh, 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 training's so boring and out of date. Why do I have to do it? Why me? I'm Jessica of the Fighting Club. Oh, I heard you from it. Uh, defeating you should be more than fun than training. Well, let's do it. All right, Jessica. All right. Waiting to get her one Pokemon. Okay. You know, eventually this just makes her lose, right? Does she only have, like, one basic Pokemon? Thank you. Hitmonlee and that's it. Not who I really want to start with. But I'll do it. That's also bad. That's also bad, because I'm actually going to lose this fight. Wow. Well, Hitmonlee's dead now. Uh, I think I lose. Unless I can get something out of this. Get a potion. And four water... Four water. <laughs> this isn't looking great. Well, I can stretch kick the bench Pokemon. If I don't get a Pokemon this turn, I lose. We lose! Unless Tauros can't do anything. Yep, yeah, Tauros can do something. We're dead. That was a good fight. You know, after I allowed her to re-roll like 50 times. I believe in the um, the newer versions of this, like the online one, the way the rule is, if you, just so you can't put like four basic Pokemon in your deck and keep going until you get one, if you have to re-roll, you only draw six cards the next time, then five then four, then three. And I think if you ever get down to one, it's just like one at a time, maybe. Or you just lose, I don't know. Hey, Soggy. I'm feeling a little tired. A little tired. And I'm only halfway through. I'm gonna psych myself up, though. Pokemon! Seal, Hitmonchan, and Rhyhorn. Hitmonchan's a good start, because I can go immediately. Please let me go first. Oh, good. It resists my fighting moves. Awesome. I'm stuck in here forever. Who do I want the Pokeball? Who should I take? I'm thinking something like Lapras. Something that's, yeah, something that's basic, but also yeah, pretty good. I'm going to sacrifice Hitmonchan to give me time to build up Lapras. Because even if I get three energies on Hitmonchan, I can only do ten damage to it, so... Yeah, this game can be brutal when it comes to RNG. Well, I guess I'll be setting up Lickitung now. Of course we got two heads. Lapras. Well, that's a Dodoro. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
I guess I'll set up Rhyhorn. Oh, plus power. I'm dead. See, it only has Rage, I believe, which means the more damage I do, the more damage it does to me. I'm going to go for Confuse Ray. It only does 10 if I Confuse, you know. Uh, I guess I'm going to keep setting up Rhyhorn on the faint chance I get a ride on. Ugh. Now Rage does 20. Bill, please help me. Eh. I mean, it's not fantastic, but I'll take it. Confuse Ray. <sighs> Ow. My only hope here is to confuse it. Well, that was just three tails in a row. Nice. And now I'm dead. And I have no way of killing this. Uh, Rhyhorn. Except you resist this, don't you? Yep, I can't do anything. I can't, I can't even hurt it. I should have used Leer. I should have used Leer. That was dumb. That was dumb. That just cost me potentially 30 damage. Or 40, I mean. Yeah, this fight's not going well. Clear. Does the coin have a heads on one side? Lick a tongue it is. Why? <laughs> I have not seen a heads this entire match on my side. Oh, hey, Machoke. Well, I'm dead. I lose. Ow. I will fight you again. I mean, I get screwed over this time with a bunch of... That fight would have gone a lot different if I had even gotten just, like, half the heads. Alright. Magikarp, Lapras, Hitmonlee, Rhyhorn. I'm gonna put Rhyhorn in his fodder while I level up my Hitmonlee. And potentially my, uh, Magikarp for later. Hey, look, there's a heads. Except it doesn't matter because I have someone in his fodder, so I can't go. I might start beefing up Rhyhorn. Like, just already. Nah, I'll just do that only. Scratch! Ten hold damage. Oh, it's relax. Yay! As long as we don't get Dodro problems again, a Hitmonlee can make quick work of a lot of Pokemon. Alright, Hitmonlee is prepared. Now I will work on... I could bank on getting a Magic or a Gyarados, but I'll just set up Lapras first. I only have one Gyarados in the entire deck. Oh, well, it's like a magic card. Lapras. Doduo. Well, that's good. Not with Doduo, but. No, a second Doduo? I hate these things. That's actually pretty good. Uh, bye, Magikarp. 
Come on, Gyarados and a bunch of water energy. Water, water, hit mine. Well. Hmm. Hey, how about I computer search this Dugong and this, um. Fighting energy for a nice big Gyarados. Except the Gyarados is prized, and therefore I cannot get it. Mm. What should I take instead? Mm. I have no idea. How about a Bill? I like drawing two cards. Why not? Well, I'm in a gambler. And now I get eight cards. Can't get a Gyarados because it's still prized, but... You know, I think I'm going to put Hitmonlee in play and then kick the Doduos until they're dead. Although, actually, I can't really do that. Um, Hitmonlee will do 20 damage regardless, whether I kick him or after resistance. So I might as well just get a kill right now. Now Hitmonlee proceeds to destroy all. Slowly. Fury attack. Here comes the two heads. Oh. Yeah, well, fine. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where using the feet kick thing might come into play. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess it's, it doesn't matter either way. I'm gonna put man. I'm gonna put stuff on Snorlax. All right, take your twenty damage. Do I do 20 damage to this, or do I do 20 damage to the one on the bench? I think I do the 20 damage to this one. Lappers can kill it now. With one water gun. Lapras. Snorlax. Alright. Dodro was dealt with. And now I have a Lapras with full health that does 30 damage per hit in play. Pretty good. I'm pretty sure 30 is the max I can do. Yeah, you can't do more than 20 extra. You know what? I feel good about that. All those tails that I got last time. Um. Yeah, I just kill it. Snorlax isn't even that good. I just like using him. He's Snorlax. Snorlax is great. I win. There was Gyarados. Bum, bum, bum. All right, give me something good. I would say that qualifies as a good. Uh, that also qualifies as good. Wow. It is time to tweak our deck. I am going to take out... Oh, that's right. I need... Oh, that's right. I need Magikarp, not Gyarados. Never mind. <laughs> Oops. Well, just because they're so good on energy. Get Monchan. I take these out. I don't like them. I never use them. I'll just put the two Onyx back in. All right. I need to find one more fighter person. The Psychic Club. Ooh. 
on the two, but I'm still not quite good enough. I'll get better. I can't. I read all of a sudden. Legendary Pokemon cards are the ultimate cards. Everyone wants to inherit the legendary cards. That's why we play against so many different people. I just lost a duel, so I can't play right now. Okay. I dropped all my cards, so I'm putting them in order here. Hmm. Guessing the fighter person is going to be in a position that actually is like, you know, at a table or something. So. No, no, not there. Electric. Hey, kid. I've got a level 20 Electabuzz. What I really want is level 35 Electabuzz. Sounds like your problem. Hey, you charged up, you play in the Pokemon trading card game? Yeah, gotta be a Grandmaster. I wonder if the legendary Pokemon cards are pretty. If they're sparkly, I'd be really happy. I don't know. Where is this last fighter person? I lost to Matthews. Good. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Is that... No, that's... Yeah, we already fought you. I'm turning here at the rock. Uh, oh, here we go, here we go. Got it. Fighting club member Chris. With an extra space for some reason. Oh. Did I say Muscles deck? Hmm. Alright, hold on. I gotta stretch a little bigger. I'm like slowly conforming into a ball <laughs> in the chair. That's better. Move up a little further. There we go. <laughs> I can't use a Pokeball as an active Pokemon? Aw. Oh. I have no energy. Well, that's not good. Onyx to stall. Hey, water. And I have three fighting Pokemon on the field. The only downside to Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, they require a lot of fighting. You can't use a lot of colorless for them. Pokeball, go! I'm going to take a water Pokemon, obviously. Mm. Grab Lapras. Lapras does a lot with little, so... <sighs> oh, when I get to Sotor, I have to look up the name of the character. I forgot the name I have to give her. Uh, for the for the Sith Inquisitor, uh, Hazel is the one that chose that to make that character. A female Chiss. Mm -hmm. I'm playing the character as... Like, I don't want to... In that kind of game, you don't. I've read that you don't want to decide to only play one path. Because the game... The story's different. How would you... How would that character react to different outcomes? Like, different, you know, things. Yep, it's unsweetened. But, uh, I plan on playing the character as... Because the Inquisitor starts as a slave to the Empire, and then because you have Force powers, they give you, like, Oh, you have power. We respect you now. I'm gonna make that character just angry at the world, especially the Sith Empire for just treating her like garbage her whole life, and now that I have power, it's like, oh, cool, treat me right now. It also teach her a lesson, though. Power means survival. I'm gonna be neutral, at least, towards people in my position. That was in my position. You know, lower class citizens who are getting mistreated for just because they're, well, who they are. Whether they're a different race or whatever. Also, she's a Chiss, and Chiss are considered, I think, second-class citizens in the Empire anyway, so... But over time, I believe my character's gonna be more dark side. They're gonna be basically corrupted, and get a little more dark side -y every time I do something. Oh, why'd you bring... Oh, come on! Why are you picking on Snorlax? Get out of there.
So to start, pretty neutral towards would you stop? I don't think I'm getting anything out of uh, Snorlax. Can I have some energy, please? I have plenty of it in the deck. Well, I mean, I'll take it. Um, fighting. Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan? I'll do Hitmonchan because I only need one to attack. Ow, not so. Oh, of course, my lax. I got halfway to Body Slam. I got killed by a Mankey. I'll go Lapras for now. What is happening with the energy situation? I'm getting all Pokemon, no energy. Bad Shuffle. After this, we can fight the fighting guy. And we'll be like halfway through the game already. Oh, pretty fast. I don't think our deck is good enough to beat the end game, though. Unless we get lucky. It's all about RNG at that point. Can I use computer search for anything? Yes, I should. How many Pokemon do I have in play? I only have one spot left. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Throw out Lapras and Seal. And I'm going to get a Professor Oak. I need energy, and this is the best way to get it. Only two of each? I mean, that's good. It's just like I was expecting more since it, half my deck that's left probably has to be energy. Considering how many Pokemon I've already put on the bench and gotten rid of. Bill. Payday! Does that move still... It does exist, doesn't it? Because it's uh, a Dynamax move. I think that, that me uh, Payday and Meowth was a thing. Tall Cat. Phil. Ooh, Magikarp. Um... No, I'm gonna set up Hitmonlee now. Slow and steady. I probably should have put a Water Energy on Lapras a while ago to double its damage, but... Mm. <laughs> but Hitmonlee is now ready to go. Ready to do some punch kicking. So Meowth is kind of like a bad... Uh, if you get lucky, I mean, it's, it's like a bad... Uh, Kangaskhan. I have so many energy, I'm gonna do this just to kill it. Keep from, keep from getting more cards. Oh, a gambler, nice. Okay, should I go for the 20 damage? Yes, I should. Because with 20 damage, I'll be able to kill it with uh, the kicks. Or I could do this and go after the Hitmonlee instead. Eh, whatever. I was gonna try Confuse Ray, but 50 HP is perfect for uh, Hitmonlee to finish him off. But be careful, I only have two prizes left. Think about the, the big fights, the six prize fights. You have, you can, you can sacrifice more to be able to deal with it. With four prizes, you can't really do that. Also, Stream Raiders has been ready for a bit. I once again forgot. 
All right. Get to them. We have no rogues. Aw. We have no fast, stabby people. There's only one enemy, by the way. Why are the... Why is there one archer going all the way over there? What is happening? <laughs> archer? What are you doing over there? I got 12 tokens. Uh, This person got two healers. And Julie got two rogues. Now, unfortunately, the rest of this is not great. Um, I'll put a Paladin down. Paladin's almost level 10. Alright, back to the game. Yeah, I was just later just like, nope, I'm going this way. Sorry. Uh, die. prizes do they have left? I only need one more prize. Wait, how's their... No, nothing. Okay. Wait, I have a gust of wind. I win. Punch kick. That's why gust of wind is really rude to use. Do, do, do. If I could get more Machokes, I could put the Machamp line in this deck if I wanted to. I, Machoke is not good. Machop is good. Machamp is okay. Machoke is kind of meh. Hey, I don't have that many Grass Pokemon. Huh. Jinx is kind of actually pretty good for a Psychic deck. Hmm... Gust of Wind. Okay. Let's go get our fourth, uh, our fourth badge. So, you have defeated all my pupils. Let's see if you have what it takes to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Okay, are you ready? Oh, good. I have Farfetch and Lickitung to start. Farfetch actually resists fighting. Farfetch might be our ace in the hole in this fight. I resist fighting. At most, he'll do 20 damage to me. Now, I gotta be careful here. If I put anything on the bench, he can snipe it with his little feet move. Mmm... I will take Lapras. I could use a water type. Because, you know, to use the water energy for. Um, Now, this is a 50-50 chance to do 30 damage right off the bat. Got it. You can only do that the first time. That move is now dead. Oh. Oh, well. I'm going all in on Farfetch'd. Negative 30 damage from fighting. Oh, here comes the feet move. Whoop. Farfetch'd. Do do. Hitmonchan is even worse against me. I don't think I should have put the Lapras down yet. I think I made a mistake putting that down too early. Yeah, it's already half dead. Oops. Lickitung's kind of useless in this fight. Alright, that is one Hitmon Lee down. Hitmon Chain can't even touch me. Hmm... I'm going to power up Lapras because I have nothing better to do. I'll at least put two energies on Lapras to do some damage. Ooh. 
two bill. Nice. Onyx. I'll get the Onyx up and running. Only it requires really one. Am I going to sweep this guy with one Farfetch'd? Wow, things are not going well for him. Mitch, you're kind of the worst like, gym fight so far. Not that it's really his fault. I mean, I do have a resistance to him. And I got lucky with that 30 uh, damage immediately. Alright. Pit Mankey. Mankey with no energy and a defender. You know you're desperate when you're putting a defender on Mankey to survive. Mm, do that. I'll do 10 damage. Not like it matters. He has no energy, does he? Wow. That's not even a resistance problem. That's just a no energy problem. Oh, Snorlax. Not great for this fight. Wow, I already won. All the energy is on the bottom of his deck. Mm. I win. That was kind of a let <laughs> to be honest. Alright. I'm not even reading. I'm I'm kind of in autopilot mode. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Alright. So find the secret to the decks of this club encrypted in it. We're halfway there? Kind of. Here, take this too. He's going to have Hitmonlees in them. Electrode. Ghastly. Handler. Last is interesting. It makes everyone take their trainer cards in their hand and just put them back in their deck. Nothing great. What I'm looking for is another Hitmonlee. A Scyther or two because they're just free. They use colorless, so it doesn't matter. And I'm looking for one or two Articunus. Articunus are just really good for putting water energy on and going to town. Just a solid Pokemon to have. What four are left? Science, Psychic, Grass, and Electric. Psychic's gonna kill me because I have fighting types. So we'll do... I'll do grass. Do grass next. You know what we haven't done in a while? Let's fight Ima... 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 Ima Kune. I can say his name. Let's get... Let's get some more cards. If I can get enough to make a second deck, it'd be nice to make a second deck. To do... To deal with things I can't deal with with this deck. I would not make mind making an extra deck. Okay. In order to get him to spawn, I am going to do this, and then reset. Now we find out where he is. He is not at the grass club. Maybe he's taking a dip at the water club. Yep, he is. That's a, that's, that's a bookshelf. All right. Nope. Nope. All right, let's go. Now, Psychic's weak against Psychic. So if I wanted to make a... Honestly, normal types. Normal types resist Psychic. I mean, I can put normal types in anything, though, so... Oh, good. Onyx. Onyx, the rock of my team. <laughs> Literally, all I have is Onyx. I'm using Computer Search right now. I don't have a choice. I gotta get something. I'm... I don't want to get a Professor Oak, because I don't want to get rid of the rest of my hand. I'll get a Gambler. I mean, I'll take a chance on it. 
Good. Now I draw eight cards. And I don't lose the ones that I already had. Oh, good. A second Onyx. That's all I got was a second Onyx. Awesome. Alright, time to start throwing rocks. This might take a while. I don't remember what that... Can I please get something other than an Onyx? Pokeball, go! Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's throw some more rocks. Eh. You know, he, this guy isn't great at battling and his, his, de his deck isn't that good, but if I give him enough time, he's gonna beat me. Oh, and there goes the damage counter. And I can only do 10 damage. Okay. I will have a new Pokemon someday. And it will be glorious. Haha! -ha. Gambler card no like you. Stop. <sighs> okay. This is a dumb fight. If he makes this a slow bro, I'm actually in trouble. Alright, okay. It'd be dead by now. Uh, I've never been so happy to see a seal. It still only does 10 damage, though, so... I hate this game. Alright. Let's prepare for a Dugong, because that's all I can do. This is so dumb. <laughs> Finally. Ooh, Professor Oak. I'll have to get rid of all this damn, all this uh, energy, though. Mm. Let's use up some cards. I want to need a potion. Um, and I go for it. Anything would be helpful. A hit mon I mean, they res do they resist fighting. Psychic types resist... No, they don't. Okay. Mm. Inter Snorlax it is. We're going all in on Snorlax. What a weird... I only have 27 cards left in my deck, and all I have are two Onyxes, a Seal, and a Snorlax. Ooh, that's good for Snorlax. Yay. Yep, moving damage counters, I know. Here he swipes. Uh, Sai Ai Ai. Oh, I'm switching Snorlax in at some point. All right, well, Psyduck's confused. He already kind of looked confused, so. Yes! Oh, there's Dugong. Well, look at that. Just like that, we're back in the game. What is my retreat cost? Three. Uh-oh. I might have to put two energy on Onyx just to get it out of the starting position, because I'm going to run into cards way before he does. Well, he can no longer move around damage counters. And now there's a Golduck in front of me. <sighs> Look, if you're going to kill me, kill me faster, please. I'm going to do it. 
I'm putting energy on Onyx so I can recruit it. Remember when I beat him in like three turns last time? This makes up for it. Alright, I am recruiting Onyx this turn. It's because I got so unlucky with just having two Onyxes. This isn't good. Alright. Dugong it is. I should have rock thrown once. Yep, I should have rock thrown once. Yep. Yep, I'm regretting that now. Hey, there's a Pokemon. I can't for Professor Oak. I'm running out of cards. I mean, I have 21 left, but still. <sighs> this thing has 10 HP left. It's gonna kill me, isn't it? Okay, good. Do, 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 do. I have 19 cards left. Mm. Aurora Beam. Does that move still exist? They phased out a lot of moves over the years that don't really aren't really needed anymore that are just redundant. Aurora Beam might still be around. Ooh, Lapras. I'm gonna guess all six of my prizes are Pokemon. Now we just kill him. Yay! Just die. One last Pokemon. Oh, it's Farfetch'd. Well, he's dead. Or am I dead? Alright, you live for one more round. Snore, I'm putting Snorlax in. Body Slam. I wish he did more than 30. A Body Slam from a slow... Oh, from a... a from a... Uh, I'm forgetting words. That's a good sign. From a Snorlax, I think it would hurt more than 30. Stop putting down Pokemon. Stop sacrificing Pokemon. <laughs> Give up. Aww. Alright, one more turn, I think. Oh no, I still have two prizes left. Well. Bye. And I get a free hit uh, on what comes out next. That's bad. Ooh. Can I just... Can I just... Nah, it's not helpful. Alright. Well, I could have gone to Hitmonchan and killed it in one hit. Oh well. The fight is finally over. If that had been anybody else, I would have lost. Alright. Oh, I got the stupid card. I'll, I'll put it in my deck immediately. A reactive Pokemon becomes confused. That's it. He doesn't give me the boosters when I win the... Th oh. That was a waste. Well, the whole point of that was to get a set of boosters, so... Uh... Set. That fight took way too long. They normally don't take that long. And this is the best way to farm packs in this game. There's still some weak links to my deck that I would like to uh, get rid of. 
Ronald? You finally come this far. I've already won five medals, but the time you win your eighth battle, I'll have inherited the legendary Pokemon cards. I'll catch you later. Why did you randomly pop up all of a sudden? Also, leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you. Why are you messing with me? Aha. So apparently the third time you fight him, you don't get boosters, you just get one of his stupid cards. So we can do this two more times. To get the most out of it. Uh, I have two Hitmonchans and no energy for them. I will go into Seal first then. Good. Headbutt. The way Seal is designed, at least a headbutt does look kind of painful. Alright, we're just going to trade uh, 10 damage here. Hit on Chan. Oh, I have a Dugong. I just noticed that. Oops. I could have... Well, whatever. <laughs> Maybe. I am starting to feel it. I'm definitely feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Like, I'm... The fact that I only got, like, two hours of sleep last night did not help this okay, uh, help the situation. Alright. What did I just do? I don't even know what I just did. I... I was not paying attention to what just happened. Alright, they get one of their cards back, I believe. Renegade Snack. At least I'm on Carrot. Carrot, not as bad as Celery. Also, they're kind of warm. Here. Yeah. Mm. That way I get to keep the Professor Oak. Also, I have carrot bits in my throat now. <clears throat> Carrots are a little dry. Mm. Alright. I think we're in good shape here. Wait a minute. I can't kill him either way. But if I do this, I can Ice Beam, potentially get a Paralyze, or I won't. I think it's funny, every single time I try to plan that out, it never works. It's like, it'll make more sense to go for the Paralysis, and, and then, you know, it is, nope, never works. That's okay, though. This is how this fight's supposed to go. Not good for him. Said anything. Oh, he's just delaying the game. Yeah, I know. That's funny. After eating the carrots like this, I don't really mind them that much anymore. They're okay. Celery's still nasty. Uh, should go after the paralysis. Whatever. Eh. Didn't lose much out of it. Mm. Mm, little carrot bits stuck in my teeth. Mm. <laughs> Well, hey, Farfetch, with no energy. How are you? You're dead. That's what you are. Isn't the whole thing with Farfetch they were, like, 
eaten into almost extinction. I wonder how they taste. I'm tired enough where I'm talking about what a Pokemon tastes like. Mm -hmm. Which just keeps throwing 50 HP enemies at me. Bye. Alright. Come on, Hitmonlee. Come on, Magikarp. I hate that I'm having, actually having problems finding a Magikarp. I have four Gyaradoses. Can someone trade me a Gyarados for a Magikarp? Raichu. Hey, look at that. Hey, Magikarp. Uh, switch and build. Good. Victor Bell I'm never using. War Turtle. If I want to bring Blastoise back into this deck, that's something I needed. Gust of Wind. Fairy. Hitmonlee? Oh. Marowak Maintenance. All right. Yeah, if I can get if I can get one more Blastoise, I wouldn't mind doing like a four, three, two of that. It could be good. I'm kind of surprised I like the Seal and Dugong as much uh, line as much as I do. Mm. Mm. But that being said, I'm gonna do that. I like Magikarp Gyarados better. I think I have too many, um... I feel like I have too many trainers and energy. I'm gonna put one down of each of these. Or at least, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take two out of fighting, since I have less fighting types. And put in... Mm, put in nothing. I could just do another build. Pokemon Breeder is fantastic um, if I want to get the uh, Blastoise thing going. If I get one more Blastoise, I'll do it. I normally don't do a Rain Dance deck. I, again, I normally do like uh, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan with like Lapras and like a few other water, Gyarados and Articuno. But if I can get one more Blastoise, I'll make that kind of deck. I'll actually turn... I'll actually tone down the fighting a little bit. I guess I'll just go with a... Uh, another Gust of Wind. Useful. Alright, where to now? Mm, we'll do grass. We'll do grass. Master Nikki is out right now. Where'd she go? That's a secret. Hmm, let's see. If you defeat three members of the Grass Club, I'll tell you where she is. How about it? Alright. I have a seal. But I also have a Dugong. What is seal weed to? Okay, good. Electricity, not grass. More times than not, ground types are weak to grass and not water, and water types are weak to electric, not grass. Normally. I'm sure there's, you know, exceptions to that. Headbutt. Also, I don't think this Ditto can transform. This is such a weird card. It's a Ditto that can't transform. You have Dittos and Porygons. What is your deck? Ooh, magic heart. Um. I can really use more water energy. <laughs> uh. Alright, guess I'll just keep headbutting. I like Ditto's little face. 
It just, I don't know. There's something about it. It, remind, it reminds me of something. I can't put my finger on it. It's like the, like the jaggedy, weird, like, smile that he has. Reminds me of something. But I'm too tired to remember. Water energy, please. Just one more would work. That's a big for you. Uh huh. Can't do anything right now, but I might have very little HP left for Duda. All right. Epicorean's actually not that bad because it only takes uh, colorless. That's actually kind of cool. It's kind of like Scyther. In fact, I think it's exactly like Scyther. Yeah. Yeah, this is Scyther. This is Water Scyther. Mm. I'm gonna do it. I don't think anything can kill me right now. Feed you when I after I'm done sleeping. Sometime tomorrow. Uh well, we win. I'm I'm amazed at like how much work Seal and Dugong are putting into this. Hey there's Gyarados. I mean, 50 for 3 is not bad. Especially when one can be colorless. Yes! Scyther. Wow. Okay. Guess what I'm putting in the deck. Who is the weakest link here of this team? The Onyxes. Bye. Turn that up and that's... I'm Commander Shepard. Welcome aboard. Oh. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Matt Lelouch. Lelouch. Ugh. I'm starting to feel the tired a little bit. Oh, thank you, Joe Mama. Oh, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> I have entered the phase where I cannot speak. I have a... When did I get a pincer? No, oh, guess I've already had it for a while. Alright. Are you looking for Nikki, the grass club master? I don't think she's here at the club at the moment. Would you like to take care of the plants? Yeah, I don't care. I get such little sun in here, any plant would die. All right, we have Hitmonlee, Lickitung, and Snorlax. Lickitung is a good starting Pokemon, so I will go with that. Ooh, I get to go first, too. Oh, it's Bellsprout. I'm going to look for a Magikarp. No, I'm not. I'm going to hope for a Magikarp. Nope. Okay. I'll wait till I get more trade fodder before I use the computer search. Fine with. I really don't want to. I kind of want to wait. Yeah, I need more. I need more trade fodder. When I think of Bell's route, 
I always think of an episode of the anime where uh, Ash fights the Bellsprout in the Indigo League and it just destroys all his Pokemon. That was good. The fact that he actually thought ahead enough to bring Muck. Since when does Ash think? I'm gonna keep waiting. I believe Bellsprout's other move is called uh, Call for Family. I'd write on that. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and computer search away the fighting energy and the double colorless, I guess. Kind of a waste, but for a magic card. One more energy and I can use Dragon Rage. Ooh, Hitmonchan, nice. Do you just have a Bill Sprout deck? Ooh, a gambler. Alright, I'm gonna level this up just in case like there's some kind of I hit. I hit Professor Oak by accident. There was no confirmation on that. I just lost my Gyarados, and now I have a magic card with two energy on it. Awesome. I'm going to be making a lot of dumb mistakes, probably, the more tired I get. Oops. I mean, look at Song's holding down the fort here. It'd be nice to kill a little faster before one of these becomes a weeping bell. I have a switch, that's kind of handy. Mm. Nice. Alright, the battle is also ready, so I will switch to that in a second. That's good. We, we've done so many, so many fights in this tonight so far. Start the battle. Go. Seven enemies, huh? Oh, look at that rogue go. Who, whose rogue is that? I got I, 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 too fast. <laughs> uh, crazy Kier? Oh, Julie with the epic uh, musketeer. That's nice. Oh, a pincer attacking him. Good job, Julie. Sniping everything. Uh, Mrs. Nana83 got uh, flag bearers, and this person got 15 gold. Silver chest it is. My only option. Barbarian is almost leveled up. I'm going to keep doing that, and yep, two more. All right. Okay. B. I got Gyarados. Hey, that's cool. Gyarados is back, everybody. I have a switch, don't I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling impatient. I find it odd that Dragon Rage in this game, in the card game, does 50 damage. Because in the regular game, it does exactly 40 damage. It's one of the few things in the real game that makes sense to be in the card game. A set amount of damage. But it's 50 for some reason. Oh, that's right, Gyarados is weak to a grip. This is the exception. Remember what I mentioned before that most water types are in this game are weak to electric and not grass? Why is it that Gyarados, a times four weak to electric Pokemon, is weak to grass and not electric? I think that's a odd choice. If any water was weak to electric, it's Gyarados. Or someone like Mantine or Pelipper. Yay! Something good. I have so many Victor Bells now. 
Butterfree. Oh, the War Turtle. If I get one more Blastoise, I will put that in the deck. Ooh, Nitto King. I love Nitto King. If Heads' this attack does 30 damage plus 10 more damage, if Tails does 30 damage, that's not that bad. Any Pokemon is now poisoned. Oh. It takes 20 poison damage instead of... I want this. If I make a Grass deck, that's going in it. If I can. Now, there is one more Grass Trainer that I have to beat, but I don't know where she is. You? Yep, it is. Okay. Brittany. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. Yeah. I have two Hitmonchans. That's actually pretty good. Even better. All right. She takes care of plants. Why does she have a Machop? Machop is pretty good for a basic Pokemon. 20 damage, 1 energy. It's basically Hitmonchan. I have three Hitmonchans. And no energy for any of them. Yeah, I'm going to tone down the... the uh, I'm gonna t I think I'm going to take one or two Hitmonchans out at some point. I don't want to have too many fighting energies, but they kind of require. Like, Hitmon Lee's eat up a lot of energy. Or water energy. I guess I'll start setting up the Snorlax. I should have done that last turn. Charmander. Well, bye. I'm gonna throw it a Hitmonchan in case I get a. Never mind. Just to wind the Pikachu. Why not? <laughs> I forgot how this one looked. It's so. Look at him, he's so happy. And he's gnawing on my uh, Hitmonchan. Alright. Wow. Look at all that cool water energy. Two. Right. I can't do anything. I have just have Hitmonchan who can't do anything, who's just getting chewed on by a Pikachu. Not anymore. Alright, well, I, I'm dead next turn. Hitmon Lee. Alright. I didn't really need that because Snorlax can kill it anyway. But... Alright, Snorlax it is. Oh, hey, Gyarados. Good thing I don't have a. And now I can't. Oh, now I can't. Uh, Professor Oak, I feel bad. Oh, well. Now this is bad. Okay, cool. I will take 40 damage a turn from this Machop for one energy. I need to be careful here. Paralyze. Yes. Okay. Even if they get an energy, it won't matter. They could evolve it. Defender. Oh, they're not dead this turn. A fighting energy. I forgot what those look like. Paragon Snack, I'm actually very low on Cheez-Its. Crumbs.
I think I've already drank more of this stream than I did during that 22 hour stream. And it's only been like 13 hours, so. Ah. <laughs> hey, I love Cheez Its enough where I will eat the crumbs, alright? The thing where it's like the end of the end of the bag, I'll just be like, and then like get them all out. And <laughs> I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Well, Snorlax is proceeding to just decimate everything, and we win. Alakazam. I never understood this. Alakazam is a, like a badass Pokemon. They only gave him Confuse Ray. It's even to flip a coin, too. It's not even, like, guaranteed. I am never using that. Wait, what did she say? Well, I wasn't paying attention. Maybe she's back now. I should have been paying attention. I wasn't. I didn't see what she said. Uh, she is where? You in the water club? No. Okay. <laughs> Not to find her. Did she go to uh, this person's house? Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Ishihara. A Pokemon card collector. I love collecting cards. I see you also love Pokemon cards. Please come see me again. We must trade sometime. You're playing with the cards? Please read some of the books here. I believe they will be helpful. Oh, wow. I actually got it right. I am Nikki, the Grass Club Master. What? You're looking for me? Well, I'm very sorry to keep you waiting. I was doing a little research here. I assume you would like to duel. I only duel at the club. I'm sorry, but can I meet you at the Grass Club? I'll be back. All right. Well, bye. Thank you very much, Ishihara. Your books were very helpful. You are indeed the number one Pokemon train, uh, trainer, trading card collector. Need to research anything? Please come. Uh, oh, oh. Thank you very much. Bye. Now we duel. Gotta be careful with Gyarados in this fight, because he is weak to grass, for some reason. Sorry I kept you waiting. Shall we duel? Here we go. Uh, Hitmonchan or Lapras? They're both good leads. Lapras, though, only needs, like, one energy to really do its job, while Hitmonchan could use three, so I'll go Lapras. Good thing I didn't put out Hitmonchan. Bulbasaur! I don't know why I'm doing this, but why not? It'll buy me one turn. It takes two energies for this thing to attack, so. I'm pretty sure Lapras is weak to electricity and not grass. I think it's rare that they're weak to grass. Oh, didn't even bother to put it on there. Ooh, Scyther's here! I say as I put no energy on him. The free retreat cost is nice on him. Oh, hello, Ivysaur. Oh, I'm just poisoned. There's no flip for it, I'm just poisoned. That's okay. Lapras can die. While I beef up other Pokemon. That's how Lapras works. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Um, there's Scyther. 
We will not be getting Gyarados this match. Uh... Snorlax? Eh. I'm taking the Scyther. Why not? Now, uh, if I get one more fighting energy, or just any energy on uh, Hitmonchan, I believe, I can kill this. Oh, by me. Mm, that's fine. Alright. Ivysaur is down. No Venusaur for you. No, oh, don't paralyze me. Oh, you stupid little radish. Alright. Oh. Well, I mean, I could gust a win, but that really doesn't help me that much. Mm. Potion. I'll start putting stuff on Scyther. Scyther does benefit more for being out when you're beefing him up because you can use Swords Dance with two energy and then use uh, Slash with three and do 60 instead of 30. So be beefing him up on the bench is not fantastic, but it works. Yay! Get her a dose. Get out of here. I don't want you. For once, I don't want you on the team. This is not your fight. Don't you do it. Yeah, good. Bill? Oh, I just got both of those. Okay. Oh, well, Scyther's set. Oh, Executor. I like Executor. With a stupid coconut face. Is. <laughs> well, next Scyther. I really don't want to fight the psychic guy. I know how he works, I don't want to fight him with this chancy scoop-up tactic. Oh, this Executor is not doing great. Yeah, I just killed it. I think we're in a really good position here. Yeah, she's down to eggs. Mm. Wake up? No. Lucky, you get to sleep. Um, I could Gust of Wind out something, but it doesn't really do me any good. I'm gonna do this. Can you trip with her to sleep? You cannot. Okay. Wasn't sure. Makes sense that you can't, but figure I try. <laughs> Stop sleeping so much. Yay! Now we're gonna crack some eggs. by punching them. I know they're not really eggs. I'm pretty sure they're just seeds that look like eggs for some reason. Alright, well you're dead. Time to scramble them. It's fine. All right, we're down to Gloom. Oh, another one of those just poisoned me. Okay. Should I? Yes, yes, I should. I win. 
That's why Gust of Wind is so dumb. <laughs> Alright. Is that our fifth or sixth? It's our fifth, right? Oh no, I lost. Well, you truly are skilled. Maybe one day you will inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. This time I'm going to give you this grass medal. Yep, it was five. We have three left. Psychic is going to destroy me if I'm not careful. Yes, another hit finally. Perfect. And a dumb looking Mr. Mime. <laughs> oh, what is Mr. Mime not dumb looking? That's his thing. This time I need to do you again. Here comes Ronald. Yep. Oh, hi, have you gotten any better? I've already won the sixth medal. Let's see how much better you've gotten. Okay. Your deck is usually not that good, Ronald. You have three types for some reason. It never works out for you. Dun, dun. Do, 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 do. I only have Lickitung. Well... I to go first. <laughs> the Battle of the Tongues. Uh, Bill. Energy. Amazing. Uh, I'm bringing the Mewtwo out. I'm getting damage on this thing now. This is the base set one, which I think has Barrier and something else. Let's see, what did it have? Yep, Psychic and Barrier. Okay. I guess I'm gonna put this right back on. That's not good. Would you stop taking my energy? Ooh, perfect. That was kind of... You know what? It's fine. I'd rather just do that now. I'm going to use one of these on Lickitung. Why not? Yes, paralyzed. Sorry. Yeah, taking all my energy. Okay, Mr. Mime's annoying. If you do more than forty damage to him, I believe he takes nothing. But luckily, I have a Lickitung right here. Let's go ahead and do this before Hitmonlee starts sniping me. I probably should have confused him at some point. Oh well. Ooh, Hitmonchan. Uh, Gyarados is now available. Alright. Please bring in Mr. Mime so I can just kill it. Oh, him only. He is going to snipe me with his feet. Yep. Stretch kick. Eh, whatever. It's fine. What's my retreat cost? Three. I have a switch, don't I? If I go into Gyarados and kill this Hitmonlee in two turns, he's going to go into Mr. Mime and I won't be able to do anything. So I need a middle ground. Well, Hitmonchan can do 20 and 40, so... That could work for me. And Scyther does 30. That's perfect. Start doing... I'll start leveling up Scyther a little bit. Good. No feet snipe. Scyther. I'm going to use the switch now. I don't want to deal with him sniping more people. 
Now I know here comes the 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 Mr. Mime, but or not? Why would you not put in the Mr. Mime first? I can't hurt it. Uh, I should have used this on Scyther instead of wasting more fighting energy on him. Oh well. Don't you paralyze me. No. Oh well, I have plenty of time. I say that before I realize that he's going to do this forever. Mmm... I do wonder if anyone agrees. This game has a good soundtrack, right? For being a Game Boy game, pretty good. Yes, you're dead now. I will take a potion, and I will kill him. Okay, I'm actually not weak to this. Strangely enough. Ow. Well, Gyarados is pretty much dead. Unless he gets a, unless he gets a Tails, then he'll only do 30. Hmm. How do I want to handle this? Eh, yeah, whatever. Just go with it. Yeah, I need to play two and three. I only played one, and it's been years since I played it. Alright, never mind, I'm dead. Does that mean he does 20 damage to himself because of the power boost? It does! I was kidding, but it actually works that way, okay. Oh, yep, and there it is. Although, this is perfect. I've heard Legends 2 is good. Isn't Legend doesn't Legends 2 have the blood track? The how does it go? I remember that one. Burning blood, that's what it is. God, man, back in the day where I had meaty files of stuff I downloaded, that was one of them. All right, I I can't retreat. You know what? Yes, I can. Scyther, who resists fighting. Final Fantasy Adventure had a pretty decent soundtrack, too, especially for the Game Boy. Again, Game Boy soundtrack. Pretty good. Jinx. Get out of here. I do find it funny that all the Final Fantasy games on Game Boy are not actually Final Fantasy games. All four of them. Decisive battle. That, that is used a lot. Six. Octopath. Bad, I guess. Ronald does not want to give up. You're done. Just admit to stop. <laughs> oh, I hate you. Okay. 
I have so many cards in my hand. I'm gonna energy, I'm gonna search, I'm gonna take out Seal, and Seal. Do I have another switch in this deck? I don't think I do. I do not. I'll just take a gamble. I don't know why I did that, I just wanted new cards. I was actually kind of hoping for just one card so I could stay ahead of him. That way if he just decides to uh, just do this constantly, I would still win on cards. Yay! I do have free retreat, which I'm going to do into Hitmonchan, and I'm going to proceed to punch this thing in the face. There we go. It's finally over. I'll give you this card. Super energy retrieval. Ooh. I believe I discard a card to get back a bunch of cards in the graveyard, basically. Pretty good. Mm. What's going on in here? All I have are Hitmonchan's and Hitmonchan, right? Yeah. I'm fine with that. I kind of like having one far fetch. I just find it funny. Lickitung has also proved its worth. I'm kind of tempted to get rid of Snorlax. I'm going to get rid of, um... One Bill? Oh, thank you. Hello. I'm starting to feel the effects of the 24-hour stream, so I'm a little, uh... Super Energy Retrieval. Ugh. So who's left to beat? Electric Person, Psychic Person, and Science Person. What is this? I'm going, you know what? I want to know what Science Pokemon are. We research Pokemon cards here at the Science Club, especially Science uh, Pokemon cards. Science Pokemon are exceedingly strong. Would you like to duel against my Science Pokemon deck? Would you like to say science anymore? <laughs> Virtue, this is mostly like poison and psychic types, maybe. Alright. Uh, Lapras is a great starting Pokemon, especially when I only have one water energy. Well. <laughs> yep, poison type. I'll put Scyther and Hitmonlee down, and I'll use a Bill. I have two Professor Oaks in my... Uh, that's always bad. That means I have to get rid of one. But he only has one Pokemon. Tremators is ready again? Time is just kind of, like, flying by at this point. That's a good thing, probably. <laughs> Maybe next time I do this, I'll get more than two hours of sleep the night before. That'd be nice. Oh, I'm... Oh. Well. I'd rather be poisoned. Um, this is really bad. I'm going to lose a computer search and a Professor Oak. Oh, man. Tell you what, if I'm going to lose the Professor Oak anyway, Professor Oak and Potion. Yeah. What should I go for? Um... You know, I'm gonna go for a gambler. It'll just put the Professor Oak back in my, uh, back in the deck. And I'll have one card in my hand now. Awesome. 
And it's a magic card. I'll just go for it. Coughing! And now I'm poisoned. <laughs> Wow, coughing's annoying. Well, Lapras is being Final Fantasy 1 to death with status effects. I can't go for it. I can't. Thing is, if I go for it and miss, I'll die from the poison in between battle, in between the rounds, and then I'll have to bring something out for the coughing hits for free. So I, I can't uh, let that happen. It's not worth the 10 damage. Yep, now I die from the poison. And coughing doesn't get a free shot on me. Except I have nothing to do. Poison me and don't confusion me, please. Poison. Heads. Heads. Yes. I can... The poison's bad, but it's not that bad. Confusion's annoying. Alright, coughing's finally dead. Weedle! Aw, we get to see Weedle. So yeah, this is just like bug poison types. Poisoning me. What are my options here? Um, well, they're not great. I'm gonna put a water on Lickitung, and then when this thing dies, I can put the other one down and put the one fighting energy on it. Yeah, poison stack, that'd be bad. I think there actually might be a thing to that, though. There might be a way to, like, double poison, like, uh, like, Toxic. Uh, Nidoking has that. You take 20 damage every turn instead of 10. Uh-oh. Beedrill? Good job, Beedrill. I'm dead anyway, but... Wait. Do you resist fighting because you're... Uh... Well, we're going into Lickitung either way. Do you resist fighting? You do. Scyther it is. If I can get a few Paralysis in with Lickitung, Scyther can finish it off at 30 damage. If I can get this thing down to 30 HP, Scyther can finish it off. All right, not the end of the world. I will still probably survive this. Pretty sure the max it does is 60. Oh, wow. 40 damage for Poison Sting. And I'm poisoned, of course. This is actually kind of a hard fight. The poison is not fun. Why not? Um, Scyther's ready to go. Which means, this Beedrill's dead. Would've been nice to survive a little bit longer, but it's fine. Yep, I'm dead. I'm very dead. God, Twin Needle, what a bad attack. Alright, Scyther it is. I only have one, they only have one prize left, I gotta be careful here. Oh, wow. That's all they had. Never mind. I'm good. Evolution? I have so many Victor Bells. Gust of Wind is always cool. I think we're remaking the deck a little bit. 
Oh, we're remaking the deck. Alright. Uh, I am going to... Oh, yeah, that's ready. <laughs> um, that... Blah. Get them. Look at Rogue Squadron go. Uh, Mrs. Nana83 gets one flying rogue. Xeno Spider gets some gold. I get some gold. Everyone gets some gold. Mm, Paladin. Again, almost leveled up. Yep. Only just realized they're playing the Turning game and not Pokemon Red. I'm surprised I'm still aware of what I'm doing right now. Ugh. All right. I'm going to actually take out two Hitmonchan. And I'm going to lower the amount of fighting energy to... And nine works. Alright. I'm putting four Squirtles, three World Turtle, War Turtles, and two Blastos in. I'm taking out the Seal and Dugong line. Keeping that one in. Keeping Lapras. As much as I like the Scythers, I might make a separate deck of Grasp types, so I'll throw them in there. Or if I make the Electric Psychic deck, um, I'll just use some Scythers, since they can be whatever. Uh, by Farfetch'd. Although these take advantage of water just as much as anything else. Keep that at 9. Take out a Bill. Although drawing cards is helpful getting more energy in my hand, of course. Mm. Take out the Pokeball, I hardly ever use it. Get a potion. Alright. So it takes advantage of the Rain Dance. Well, this line. And then Lapras for getting this, and then Gyarados, of course. And then the, these guys do. These don't take advantage too much, but they're there just as like a backup. I'm tempted to make this a water-only deck, but it doesn't matter. Alright, let's try this new deck. The deck's been doing good. Kind of worried about changing it. Hey you, Rick the Clubmaster is in the middle of an important experiment. He has no time to see someone like you. If you really want to see him, you must defeat me first. Not too smart, but you got nerve. Uh, we'll play for four prizes. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I forgot to put a breeder in. That way I could skip World Turtle if I have to. Forgot to do that. I think I'll have one. Basically, if you have a Squirtle down and a Blastoise in your hand and a breeder, you can skip World Turtle altogether. Which is nice. Oh, hey, Zubat. Okay, thank you. You also resist fighting, don't you? You certainly do. Good thing I just got that switch. Hi. By the way, confusion is super annoying in the trading card game. It doesn't wear off, it just stays forever. Alright. I'll be able to start doing damage at this point. Uh, Squirtle. It'll take a little bit, but I'll kill him. Oh, hello, Flying Pikachu. Oh, look at it. Look how happy he is being up in the air on balloons. And of course, you're weak to electricity. Awesome. Also, is everything in this person's deck resist fighting? Kind of annoying. I have so many turtles in my deck in my hand right now. So many. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do, do. Don't paralyze me. Thank you. Blastoise. I would love a Blastoise right now. Uh, nah, whatever. Bum, 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 Squirtle. Squirtle. Let, can I have a Blastoise, please? I already did that. Uh, Gust of Wind? Not that helpful, to be honest. About to get damage on this. Alright, if they don't paralyze me next turn, I will kill this. Which means they're going to paralyze me. Oh, wow, they actually didn't. Alright, I have killed the flying Pikachu. Hello. Whew. <laughs> I, I'm asked to catch him uh, 25 years in the future. Because he's always 10 years old. Also, I'm Ash that gave up on Pokemon battling and only battled cards now. <laughs> and I'm dead. Why do you have four energies on you? I have to go in it. Now, I believe I only need... Yeah, I can... Yeah, I can do that. Kind of a waste, but I'll do it anyway. Fight! In case I get a Blastoise later. Speaking of that, I'm just gonna do it. Come on, Blastoise! I have two of them, and I got neither of them. Alright, well, bite the bat. Yeah, I just wanted to finish off the game with Blastoise, but I think this will work. I got a Polyrath. Um, nothing else really stands out. Mr. Mime again. Ew. Ew. Basic set Porygon. Ew. Gamblers are fun. Rick's in the middle of experiments. I don't bother him too much. I think there's one more person I have to beat. Yep. The machine is not quite working right. Oh, this? This is the machine that makes decks. It's much better than Dr. Mason's. Let's see here. You want to duel against me? Okay. I still forgot to put the Pokemon Breeder in. Oops. I like how I remember as soon as I start the battle. Hitmonchan it is. I believe in you, Hitmonchan. Although you don't have a... Okay, well... Oh, I can kill that in like two turns. Oh, the Pokemon be nice. Oh, it's Grimer. Oh, no, no, not at this again. Okay. Oof. Blech. Pokemon. All right. I mean, I'm not in terrible shape here. Don't paralyze me. Yes. Grimer is now dead. I am punching goo. Bill, Pokemon, please. I will take the Lapras. Bye. Boo -doo -doo -doo. I win. And this is why Hitmonchan is. This is why I keep the Hitmonchan even in a rain deck. It's just it's too good. I got a Ninetales. Fighting energy. Energy removal. Okay. 
Dragonair, which is better than Dragonite for some reason. Alright, uh, I think it's time to go beat up a scientist. I am Rick, the master of the science club. Science rules nature. That is why it is so strong. Do you wish to test the strength of science by playing against me? Yes. Let's go, science man. See, I like my deck of turtles. Magikarp and Gyarados. Oh, I only have Magikarp. Okay. This may be the fastest fight we've had so far. Magikarp versus Mewtwo. Uh, luckily, he's not putting energy on it. All right. Oh, he has a coughing. Coughings are so annoying. Um, I'm gonna bill another Magikarp. Well, I have no energy. Um, this could be better. Fighting energy and the other Magikarp. Four. I don't even know. Blastoise? No, that makes no sense. I don't have a Squirtle yet. Hmm. I mean, it's something. Get Monchan. Oh yeah, this is fine. Magikarp versus Mewtwo? Perfectly. Another Mewtwo. Okay. What do you resist? You don't resist anything. Okay. This is not... This is not going well. Uh... I might go to the Mewtwo that doesn't have energy on it. How's that sound? And Professor Oak. Watch me get a Squirtle, a War Turtle, and a Blastoise in this one hand. Or I will get none of them. Alright. Once again, I'm all in on Hitmonchan. Like I always like I always am. Ooh, water. Hey. If I get fighting energy, I'll put it down on Hitmonchan. If I get uh, water, it goes on Gyarados. You know, I kind of don't want to kill this. If I kill this, it will unleash a Weezing on me. I kind of don't want to kill it. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to kill it. It's stuck in here. Killing it. Gambler it is. I now have eight new cards. Come on, something good. Farfetch for some reason. <laughs> Why is that still in the deck? Um... I'll put it down. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Gust of Wind to hit the Weezing. I'm not going to kill him, obviously, but it'll do a lot of damage. And, well, that's actually pretty good. No, that's not. Oh, well, we got plenty, got plenty of turns not to die from Grimer. I do want to Professor Oak again, but not yet. Pokedex is pretty fun to use. Okay. Psychic. Ow. Ow. Now I'm going to use Super Energy Retrieval, I'm going to take Farfetch'd and Squirtle, and I'm going to get back all those energies I just lost. 
and start all over again with Hitmonchan. That's gonna hurt. A little bit. No, not too bad. Hitmonchan. Alright, we're down one Mewtwo. Hello. Good thing I don't have a War Turtle. Oh, he's in stall mode. That means he's scared. Also, Grimer's already dead. Oh yeah, I'm weak to uh, I'm weak to grass. Oopsie. All right, well, bye. I'm dead if this paralyzes me. I'm dead. forget to do something. Hold on. Did I... I forget to do that? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. Ooh! <sighs> Alright. We're down to single-digit hours left. Do-do-do-do. <laughs> And we're good. Bye, Gyarados. You're weak to grass for some reason. Ooh, a Snorlax. That could be kind of fun. It also can't be pair. Ooh, ooh. Snorlax can't be statist. Which means it might be good to fight against this. I think I'm gonna start working on Snorlax. Until I until I get a War Turtle, I'm not gonna put anything else on Squirtle. And there it is. I have to wait one more turn, and then all these waters can just leave the leave here. Which means Snorlax is gonna be set up next turn, or Blastoises, whichever way I want to do it. Oh, I like coughing. Blastoise. Oh yeah, we're just, we're all on Blastoise. I think I can only add 20 damage, so I can only have 5 total. Yeah, okay. I could have put one more down, but whatever. We're in a really good position here. I should have put that down first, and then the water. That would have made more sense. Oops. I'm making a lot of mental errors right now. Not surprising. I will steal. Wow, all his Pokemon are really hurt. I'm bringing Blastoise in. Enough of this. Blastoise will now kill everything in his path. Overkill. And our fight is done. Unless you want to paralyze me some. Imposter Professor Oak? I haven't even... I didn't even know that was in this game. No. Oh. Okay, good. It's like, please do not just draw this out. Woohoo! Do, 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 do. Two more badges left. And there are two that aren't going to be fun for my deck. Electricity and Psychic. Not great for me. 
I might have to make a deck just to counter those two. Like a deck that has uh, ground and normal. Resist, um, yeah, just like all ground and normal. Resist electricity, resist psychic. Another Hitmonlee. I'm very tempted to make just a full fighting deck. Ooh, Muck. Let me get some free packs out of my email, sir. Yep, I already know how to beat him. I already beat him. It's fine. Coliseum pack. Another Snorlax. And an Nidorino if I want to do a uh, Nidoking thing. Ew. Ew. Yeah, you're ditto. Okay. So, I think I am going to make just like a Psychic Normal deck. Just to... Not Psychic, uh, Ground Normal deck. There's no deck here. There's no deck here. Modified deck. There we go. So how many um, ground types do I have access to that have resistance to electricity? We have so we have uh, Sandshrew and Sandslash. Sand, sand, slash. I only have one Graveler. Got plenty of Onyxes that have no resistance for some reason. Uh, Cubone resists electricity, so does Marowak. I'm going to put two Hitmonlees and two Hitmonchans in, just because we're going to have the energy for it. Uh, three Rhinehorns, two Rhydons. Mm. <sighs> Woo. All right. I'll do Sansu and Sanslash. They're not great, but they're not terrible. And put all the fighting energy I have that's available. Which is not much, which means I might want to get rid of some of these. How about... Honestly, Rhydon and Rhydon are not that good. Get rid of them. And after the anti-psychic Pokemon. Like... Yeah. I don't have great options in here. Lickitung... Norlax. I'll do this line because it's actually pretty good. Mm. Now, what trainers do I have available? Not many. Four bills. Energy retrievals. And Ener plenty of energy searches. We'll do that instead. Two removals. And one switch is always handy. One computer search. Couple gusts of winds. One gambler just for fun. Now I do need more energies. And unfortunately, I I kinda need more fighting energies. Do four of those. <sighs> yeah, I wish I had more fighting energy. I'm gonna have to just use random energy, aren't I? For the, for the colorless. Oh, I mean, I can also use it for Hitmonchan a little bit. What about these guys? Slash, that works. This is not going to be a fantastic deck, but it's going it, to, it hopefully will get me through this. So I'm going to throw in some... Some grass energy. Just to have some extra for colorless. And I'll even throw in those two Scythers. And... Too bad there's no fighting, Eevee. One more of those. Because it's going to be so hard to get energy, I'll do energy retrieval as well. 
And two Onyxes just for the hell of it. All right. We're going to name this deck, uh, Not Good. <laughs> you know what? You thought I was joking. The, uh, the Not... The Not Good deck. Not Good, there we go. Because this is probably not going to go that well. I should have just made separate decks. One of just all, color, like, all, uh, colorless to deduce anti-psychic, and then one just, like, all ground. But, whatever. Okay. You've won quite a few medals. Okay, let's duel. But I see the future. You will lose. Yeah, probably. Ooh, mysterious. I can't do the hair thing. All right, what we got? Hitmonchan is always a good, uh, or Onyx would have been good too. Oh, even better. Here, oh, what? Ew, it's a powered lick. Hey, Grass Energy. Kinda useless. I only have it in there because I don't have enough fighting. Alright. Bill. Oh, I'm gonna switch out of there. Onyx. Fighting. I'm gonna energy search for an obvious fighting energy for later. Alright, Rock Throw. He is weak to it. All right, just don't paralyze me. That's all I got to do. All right. Thank you. It's still worth it to put one on Hitmonchan. His ability to do 40 damage to this thing in one energy. Pretty good. Okay, we're good. Not worth using yet. Just licking rocks, don't mind him. Energy search. Good thing I have plenty of these energy searches. I'm gonna start powering up Hitmonlee. I think that could be worth it. That's a waste. Stop. Stop licking Onyx. Sandshrews, go away. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm paralyzed once again. This could be useful. Eh, I'll just start. I'll just keep going. This is ridiculous. <sighs> yep. Yep. All right. All 
right, well, I just... Onyx lost to a Lickitung. Got licked to death. Even though I was, uh, twice... I was, uh, super effective against him. Still lost. I hit my chain works for now. Oh, it's Sand Slash. Yay. With my no energy. Buy a lick a tongue. Punch you in the tongue. And then comes Drowsy with a super effective pound. Or Confuse Ray, which is worse. Yep, that's much worse. Go for it. I'll take it. Now here is where I don't want to go for it. Because if I do and miss it, he'll get a free attack on the next thing I bring in. So I'm not going to attack this turn. Uh, I'm going to start taking off the energy on you. Yeah, do not attack. Would have been nice to get 20 damage on him, but... Uh, I can't do anything. I can't... I can't risk going out to Hitmonlee without getting another fighting energy. Wish you could see my hand first. Uh, Sand Slash, go! Yeah, I... Well, I could do this now. Uh, Sand Slash. Two fighting energies. What does my retreat cost? One. Okay. Gotta be careful here. I can lose one more Pokemon and not lose the game. Okay. I might put an energy on Sand Slash to retreat it. Because if I get confused and get stuck in there, who knows what could happen. I'm gonna waste a grass energy on that. Get Mon Lee. I jump kick. Luckily, in this version of the game, it can't miss and do damage to me. Hello, Mew. You're gonna kill me in one hit, aren't you? Yep. I believe I have lost. Well, I can keep this going, though. If I can work, if I can get another um, gust of wind, if it's in here, I'll remember how much how many this deck has. If I only needed one more prize, this would be perfect. The fact is, once I kill him, I'm dead. So I am going to actually put in Dragonair. Because I resist Psychic. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I can't attack. It doesn't matter, though. Dragonair might have just saved me. Hyper Beam! Yeah, that might have just saved me. Here comes the confusion, though. I have to play around this confusion. Oh. Well. That's a little annoying. They can't even hurt me. All they can do is just uh, make me hurt myself. Go for it. It only does 20 damage before energy, but it allows me to discard one of their energy cards every time I hit them.
go for it. This is gonna be tough. I have to get through these confu- okay. Well, you know what? I can do that too. I don't really have to. You know, if I go for the slam and get one heads, I win. Mm, or I do that. Alright. Oh, hey, Hypno. I might have to retreat. Oh, I had one of these. Oh, well, whatever. I might have to retreat here. I... Okay. Got out of it. I kind of didn't have a choice. I'm pretty sure this thing needs three energy to attack. Yep. I might have this. I only need one more prize. If, if they're stuck in here like I am, we might have this. Oh, he's going to have 10 HP left. How much do you need to attack? Retreat cost is only two. If he puts an energy on that, he could retreat it, bring in Mew, and kill me. Although I think it'll only do 60. I would live. Okay, here's the plan. Put that on Dragonair. Okay, we win. Oh. I had to play around that Mew. Hooray! <laughs> this place is fun for a deck that has fighting Pokemon in it. Clough, Fable, Arbok. Okay. Polyrath, Slowbro. Not bad. Psychic Club member Daniel. Ooh, Scyther. Nice. In fact, Scyther with a double. Oh, but that would be mean. Alright. Sand true. Sand attack. Sand attack is an annoying attack. Ow. Oh, gotta move in my seat a little bit. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Alright. Dude, wait, what am I weak to? I'm weak to grass. Yep. And look what's in front of me. Oh, well that's a little better. Jigglypuff, I choose you. Scythe is ready to go. Bam, bam, bam. Haunter! What is Haunter's ability? Whenever an attack does anything to Haunter, flip a coin. If heads prevent all effects from that attack, including damage done to Haunter. Okay, that's nice. Also, this has been ready for a while, hasn't it? Time is going by, like, so fast in, like, in weird ways. I I'm not paying attention at all. It's like, it's already ready again. <laughs> do, 
And got him. Ooh. Uh, ooh, we're almost to another boss fight already. <laughs> Warrior time. Alright, back to the game. Have I already put down an energy? I have not. Uh, teeny. I have killed one Jigglypuff. And in comes Paris to kill me in one hit. And there I go. Scyther. Hitmonchan with one fighting energy, always a threat. Okay, here comes the annoying Hanzo with the annoying ability. Bill. I guess I actually get a Dragonair. Woohoo! You failed! Fail again. Alright, Dratini's ready to go for Dragonair. <laughs> Nothing is happening right now. Okay. Put me to sleep, eggs. Mm. Why does Scyther get to sleep? Mm. If I get a Sand Slash, they can, uh, it can at least use its Slash move now. I'm in a gambler. I'm feeling lucky. Hey. Ooh, another Scyther, nice. Dragonair. I cannot retreat while sleeping. That makes sense. I know I keep trying that. And I'm still asleep. I am still asleep. I am still asleep. All right, well, bye, Sand Slash. Or Sand Bye. Hyper Beam. Bye, Energy. Here comes the Sleepy. But Dragonair is not, does not care. He doesn't fall for the sleepy. I should have taken the uh, Psychic off, shouldn't I? No, whatever. Hmm. Dragonair does not care. It has shed skin. Like it does in actual, uh, like in actual Pokemon games. Huzzah! I'm gonna get the privilege of facing the most annoying uh, trainer, probably. The no annoying boss. 
Don't run any player if you can defeat me. Beedrill! Ooh, another Blastoise. Don't really need it, but... Hi, I'm Murray, Master of the Psychic Club. You're the one who visited the clubs to win the medals. How do I know this? Because I'm psychic! Let me test my new card strategy against your deck. Are you ready? Yeah, Murray is incredibly annoying to fight. If he gets going with his stupid chancy scoop up Kangaskhan stuff. If I get Dragon Erp and running, I can just take off all their energy. That'd be nice. I have a Scyther and a Hitmonchan. Probably shouldn't use the Hitmonchan. But I'm going to because it only takes one energy to attack. Yes, I'm using a Hitmonchan against a Psychic person. <laughs> oh, hey, that worked out in my favor. I tricked him. Like, there's no way he'll use a fighting Pokemon. He's not that dumb. Well, bye. Bye, energy. Yeah, I don't have any more. All right, time to work on Scyther. Good. There it is. There's the scoop up. That's not bad. Scyther is going to be my friend in this. Because I, I, mean, I have two of them. Alright. Don't paralyze me. Don't paralyze me. You paralyze me. Okay. I'll survive one more. Do I have a switch? I do have a switch. Oh, bye. <laughs> Snorlax is back. Would you knock it off? At least I'll do 60 next turn. Second Scyther is ready to go. There's Dragonair. Why? <laughs> Murray is so annoying. At least he failed on the roll. The flip. Now I can punch him for 20 damage. I do have a Sand Slash. That requires... Only two for 20 damage, which is a great, but it's something. This is mainly here for the electric gem, not this one. And I just punch him. Alright, well, you know what? Hitmonchan did pretty good being in a gym that's full of psychics. And only one energy. Scyther, would you like to kill this thing? I'm gonna say this in case I get a Dratini. So I'll just put this. I'll put this on Sandshrew. All right, Aberdeen. Oh, the chances have begun. Sorry, I'm at the point where it's like, look at my hands. Alright. Huh. 
how many of those things do you have? If I get a fighting energy, I'm punching that Abra in the face. I'm doing it anyway. You wanted me to come out here? Fine. Are they all backwards? I don't know. Didn't paralyze me. Too bad for you. Mm, get rid of that. Fighting. Sand true. Evolve to Sand Slash. And punch an Abra to death. Oh, good. It's Chansey. Good thing I have uh, Hitmonchan out, though. Ooh, Dratini! I've been saving this for you. Do -do. Don't you do it. Don't you? Okay. Dragoner. Punch. We have a Dragoner almost ready to go. So if this Hitman Chan dies, Dragoner's coming in. Alright, he just Pokemon centered, which is actually not bad because Chansey lost its two energy cards. Although he did have a Professor Oak. And now he has more Pokemon on the bench. And he has oh my he just got another Chansey at a Kangaskhan. Did I need No, okay. Mm -hmm. Punch him. We only have one badge after this, and then we have to fight the Elite Four, which is going to rely heavily on RNG, because they're kind of difficult. And our deck is not great. But with a little bit of luck, we'll be fine. Once again, Hitmonchan putting in a lot of work for a place that's good, uh, good against him. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to let him die. No. Hitmonchan deserves better. I just got a gust of wind. Is there anything on his bench that I can pick apart? Or pick off? <laughs> I love the animation for that. Yeah. Woo! It's not enough to kill him, though. Hmm. I'll just keep slashing him. Although they scrunch, so I can't do any damage. Well, I'll do it now, since I have two of them. If he manages to switch it back out somehow, I could just gust of wind it right back in. He might have a switch or something. Yep. Yep. Oh, are you trying to do scrunch so I won't kill you? Uh, well, I have bad news for you. You're not the only one with a handful of gust of winds. Die. Woohoo! Do, do, do. Take that, Marie. I lost. You didn't see that coming? You're a psychic. You must be pretty good if you're trying to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Here, take this psychic medal. And here, take this laboratory booster pack. Hypno. The thing is creepy. Nine Tails. The Game Boy one, I think. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking of a new strategy, so come see me again. I'll be waiting. I am never talking to you again. 
All right. I'm going to go ahead and do a save state before I mess things up and lose like the last two hours of progress. Okay, better. All right, lightning it is. In fact, some lightning Pokemon, or electro Pokemon, are weak to ground. And Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee count as ground. So I actually have a pretty good chance at this. Isn't Pikachu totally cute? My heart skips a beat whenever I see those cute little eyes. Hey, do you want to duel my Pikachu deck? This is where the fighting types are not going to be good because I bet she has a bunch of flying Pikachus. Or she has nothing. And of course I have those two. All right. Well, it hit my chance. It is. Have to go first. It's a yep. It's a flying Pikachu, so I can't hurt it. Uh, what else do they have available? Nothing. Okay. Nope, that's all I can do. <sighs> right door Pikachu is fine, though. I'll kill that pretty fast. Regular Pikachu again. One of them, anyway. No, here we go. You know, I might not want to put two more energies on this thing. Snorlax looks to be a good one. That could be good, because they don't resist it. But it's going to take so long to power him up. Eh, whatever, I'll work on it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, a surfing Pikachu. Nice. What does Growl do again? I think it lowers my attack by like 20, which means I'll still kill it. Oh, by 10. Pfft. Well, you're dead. Of course, in comes the flying Pikachu again, but... Yep. Can I get a second Gust of Wind, please, game? Gust of Wind. That's okay. I'm going to destroy them with Snorlax. I don't mind getting paralyzed because I can't do anything anyway. Also... Yeah, that's fine. Snorlax is up and running. Also, if I get Sand Slash up and running, he resists electricity, so that'd be nice. Oh, wow. You have another move. If heads during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage. Oh, no. It's basically agility. Oh, look what I got. Once again, Hitmonchan putting in work where he probably shouldn't be. All right, I already have enough to slash. All right, Flying Pikachu, come back in. Don't do it, don't do it, don't get good. You know what? Once again, I am not letting Hitmonchan die. He deserves... He deserves to live. Ah! I paralyze the Pokemon who paralyzes me all the time. Super Potion! Doesn't heal the Paralyze, though. That switch is going to come in handy when I have to get uh, Giant Snorlax out of the center, out of the starting position here. If I ever do. 
I don't think I ever will. I can't be paralyzed. That's the cool part. I can't be paralyzed. That's what makes Snorlax worth using. He has a lot of HP, but it takes 4 energy to only do four, four, uh, 30 damage. It's because he can't be status. She is hanging on by a thread. I bought her one more turn, but we're done now. Body slamming my way to victory. <laughs> my Pikachu lost. Get out of here, Dragonite. I don't want to use you. Zapdos, Fossil Zapdos, not great. You have to take care of your Pokemon cards. I wonder what Isaac's doing. What? Uh, Pokemon trading card duel? I'll be duel. I'll glad to duel anytime. Just they made him. They made him so bad. <laughs> the fact that it takes like four energy to only slam twice for like thirty damage each. It's just terrible. Oh, hello. Whew. I am fifteen hours into the stream. It feels like it. Dratini or Hitmonlee? Not great choices to start with. Mm, I'll use Hitmonlee. That's good. That's a good thing. Oh, it's Eevee. Time to kick punch it in the face. Yep, when it came out on the DS digitally, I bought it. I actually have two copies of it for the Game Boy, but both the batteries are dead. I actually repurchased it years later after it came out to play it again. Both batteries are dead, so. It does. It has Vulpex from the basic set. And Ninetales. And a... Uh... Game Boy only version of Ninetales. Unable to attack due to the effects of a tail lag. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing then. Oh, hey, Jolteon. Yeah, this kind of fits with me because when I was, um... I actually showed up earlier on the stream, my Pokemon cards that I have. I have the first four sets, mainly the first three I collected. That's what this game is. This is base, jungle, and fossil set, which is the three that I know the best. In fact, they're the only ones I know. Uh... Well, Hitmonlee, would you like to high jump kick? All that stands in my way is a Pokeball with googly eyes on it. Man, I like Voltorb. He's just a Pokeball with eyes. I like it, though. He's got some attitude. He has, has the brow. Well, that was easy. Shoot, I lost. Well, no sense crying over spilled milk. Raichu. Raichu's pretty good. I like agility. It's a fun move. Yeah, unfortunately, when I, I got them when I was a kid, so my cards aren't in mint condition. I have a few first editions, though. Which, again, aren't in mint condition, but... They're not terrible conditions, either. Gyarados. Alright, one more person and we can get the last badge. Oop, oh, oh, there we go. Lightning Club member Nicholas, Boom Boom Self-Destruct Deck. Nice name.
Onyx. That's it. I mean, that's not bad. I resist like I don't, no no. For some reason, in this in this card game, in this this version of Onyx, doesn't resist electricity. Coughing. Hey, remember 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 coughing the electric Pokemon? Yeah, I have some good memories of the Pokemon game. Both this version and the actual card game. I didn't play the card game that much, I just collected it. I played a little bit. I just enjoy collecting them. I'm gonna chance it. Well, I had nothing good anyway. There are so many sets now. The only ones I know of personally are Base, Jungle, Fossil, Team Rocket, Base 2, which is just team basic Base and, team and uh, Jungle re-release, re so, yeah. Uh, Gym Leader and Gym Leader 2. That's as far as I got. I have barely any Gym Leader cards, though. Um, he's beefing up his stuff on the bench, and I'm doing nothing. Oh. Well, that could be useful. I have two of those now. Uh-oh. I think I'm pretty sure I'm weak to grass and not water. Is there? I haven't really been paying attention. Is there more hype on the cards, though? Snack Paragon. I Well, I'm down to uh, a little bit of Cheez-Its. It's been nice. You used to play in championships in your uh, country in 2016. I, I never played in any championship with the card game. I don't think I have the attention span for it. Like, obviously it's nowhere near the level of chess. But I'm just saying, like, I don't think I had the attention span or memory to, like, figure out what's happening all the time. I feel like I make a lot of mistakes. I did do competitive Pokemon battling in Gen 4 and 5. I was average at best, though. Again, I made a lot of, like, mental errors. Just throwing rocks at each other. I am getting some not so great pulls right now. Um, back when the cards were still coming out, like the first couple sets, the first like five or six sets, I actually found there was a there was a company where you could just call them and order over the phone and get whatever cards you wanted for battling. So I was able to get like four of every trainer card that I needed. It was actually pretty convenient. Ah. I'm allergic to no sleep. Whew. Well, all I can do is go into Sandra. Thank you.
Do, 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 do. Why does this person use grass? Like, I, okay. Kind of caught me off guard. Probably because they knew I was coming in here with a bunch of ground Pokemon. Woo! Works for me. Wow, I could really use some better thing, stuff right now. I have no fighting. I have no. I have wait. I have access to one. There it is. I'm Commander Shepard. Welcome aboard. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, I can actually hold on. I can see your name a little better over here. Uh, Eco Velux. I think staring at a computer monitor for 15 hours is getting to my eyes. Ooh. <sighs> Call things are very annoying. Okay. I'm lucky I pulled that off, because if I had died, he would have gotten a free shot on something. Also, having the ring lights in my eyes for 15 hours, probably not good for my eyes. But I have been turning them down a little bit more, so... Uh, we'll find out. After this, I'm playing Spator. I love KOTOR 1 and 2, but I actually never played Swator that much. I played it when it came out, a little bit. I'm going to be doing a, a Sith Inquisitor. I'm playing it just for the story. I don't care about PvP, I don't care about endgame raids, just story. For an MMO, I've heard it has an amazing story. Oh wow, I actually won. I actually won that fight. Oh. It's going to be fun in like a couple hours when the wave of people that stopped watching hours ago are back in. It's like, hey, we're awake. <laughs> like, I'm still here. I don't want to attack because if I do, he'll get a free. I'm gonna not attack. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him kill me. All right, time for some Hitmonchan action. Oh, if anyone's wondering why I have grass energy in here, because I don't have enough fighting. I made this deck simply to counter the last two uh, things that my deck couldn't do. Electricity and Psychic. So I have the I have the grass energy just to give me some extra energy. I didn't have enough fighting. <laughs> so, typical night. You can watch me slowly descend into madness. Wait till I get to the Elite Four in this game and they start hacking me to death with uh, coin flips. Mm -hmm. Have I not won this fight yet? <laughs> I feel like this fight's gone on forever. How many is he going to get this time? One. Two. Okay. I'll take two. Two is fair. Yeah, since I'm trying to beat this and have some time for Sator, I'm not trying to collect all the cards like I normally do. But my deck might not be good enough to beat them. 
the Geo to do. Good call. All right, one more fight and we're on to the Elite Four. My Lightning Deck lost. I can't believe it. Ooh! Ooh! I got a Kangaskhan. I love having those on my deck. Oh, those are great. Can I get a second one? All right. Let's do Scream Raiders real quick. You know, after you do like 20 Scream Raider fights in one night, um, they kind of go a little faster now. We've gone through like two and a half maps. I only go through like one a Scream. Uh, that Rogue is kind of freaking out a little bit. There it goes. Easy fight. Julie gets one healer. And, uh... I can't even pronounce anything right now. Et sensual? I'm sure I butchered that. My brain doesn't work right now. All right. Uh, Barbarian it is. One more and I can level it up. All right. Well, that ought to do it. It was hard work, but here's our stage. Gotta keep looking. Gotta keep it looking smart. I'm the Lightning Club Master. Sure, I'll duel you. Is it so much to ask for this person just to get a terrible, a terrible pull and die like in two turns? I wouldn't mind. I have an Onyx. I have an Onyx and no energy for it. I have an energy search though. And I go second. Off to a good start. And they have a Kangaskhan. <laughs> Do you know how long it's going to take me to break through this Kangaskhan with an Onyx? I have two Dragonairs. Uh, I could Gust of Wind into Electabuzz to get some damage on it. In fact, that's a good idea. Because it's times two. Oh yeah, Onyx can definitely stall. He's got some bulk. Also, he can't hurt me. He can only paralyze me. Which he did. Wait, oh that's right. I keep forgetting he doesn't have resistance. Ugh. Like the only rock card that doesn't have resistance. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this. Then evolve the Sand Slash later. Yep. I'll do it. Alright, I can already use Slash for Sand Slash, which is fine. Mm, I have two Dragonairs. That's it. All right. As far as the non-evolving Pokemon that have like 70 to 90 HP, Onyx is okay. Onyx is okay. I prefer stuff like Magmar, Lickitung, uh, Electabuzz, Lapras. Those are kind of my go-tos with that. I haven't played this in a long time, but again, I played it a lot. To the point where I ran two batteries out. Although one was, the second one was used and I got it. It didn't last very long, unfortunately. Mm. I'm gonna save the, uh, I'm gonna save the, uh, fighting energy. Oh! Have you ever played the second one? It was only in Japan, apparently. Uh, there is a fan translation for it. I plan on playing that on stream one day. I've been wanting to play that for years. I know nothing about it. The sets that are in that game I know nothing about, which means it's going to be fun. I get to figure it out. Yep. 
I saw it played a little bit. I don't know what sets it includes. Obviously, it's after this. Yep, we never got it. It was never bought over here. I don't know how well this game did. I don't know the sales numbers. Like, I don't know how well this game did in, in the U.S. or North America or anywhere else besides Japan. Well, thanks to that defender, I can't kill him. I'm gonna attack anyway. Thing is, according to Twitch TOS, you can emulate. I'm emulating right now because I own this game two different forms on Game Boy and the DS digitally. Thing is, the second version, you can't get it. You literally can't get it. I have no choice. If it came over here in English, I would buy it. If they finally made it digitally for like 10 bucks on DS, I'd buy it. Easily. Quickly. Day it came out. But I can't. So I have no choice but to emulate uh, the translated version of it. It's the only way I can play it. If there was an option, I would do it. But... Besides maybe if I could, if I bought the Japanese version, would that count if it was fan translated? I don't know. I'm assuming digital versions count because, uh, also if you own the system. I'm pretty sure you also have to own the system. I have, I have a, uh, a Game Boy Color in storage. I have a Game Boy, uh, Advance SP in here somewhere. Like, for instance, on PS3, um, in their digital store, I have a game called Xenogears, a game I want to play. I own it digitally on the PS3. That should be good enough, because it's playable on the PS3. And I own a PS2 that can play PS1 games, so... Yeah, like, I like the idea of, like, I would love to play on original systems. I actually got a, uh... I got this thing over here. It allows me to go from the normal, uh, hookups, like, AV hookups, to HDMI. That way I can use my Elgato for it. I'm planning on playing an Xbox, a regular Xbox game called The Third Age. It's a, uh, Lord of the Rings RPG that I played a while ago. And now with that, I can also play GameCube, and I can play, uh... PS2 if I have to. I don't really have to, but... I like the idea of playing the old stuff. Thing is, emulation just runs better. Like, I don't have to use the Elgato for it. Um, you can easily find USB controllers. This is a cheap USB NES controller. It helps. Would you stop paralyzing me? Even in death, he paralyzed me. Mm. Sand Slash is fine. Slash! Oh no, he's going to go boom. Why well, he's not. I'm only going to take 10 damage. Or I might... Actually, do I take zero? Yeah, I take zero. Um, in the later... In, I do know in the later sets of uh, the card game, they went... They made uh, weakness go from negative 30 to... Ne or resistance go from minus 30 to minus 20. Apparently that's more uh, balanced. I guess I can see that. All he can do is just paralyze me. Slash. Well, there he goes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. Mm. 
Well. All right. Slash again. Not enough to kill him, but close. Oh, well, that works. He can't even hurt me. Wait, does he not have Sonic Boom? Don't apply weakness and resistance for this attack. Any other effects, why did he not do this? It would have killed me. He could have killed me because it isn't apply weakness and resistance. Why did he do that? Uh, AI glitch? That's the entire point of Sonic Boom. Yeah, it does 80 to himself and every and me and then 20 to every bench Pokemon in play. It hurts. Mm, Scyther. almost got this. He only has two Pokemon on the bench. And I have three prizes left to get. Uh, I really don't need any more energy. I'll put Lickitung down and put a Grass Energy. I didn't mean to do that. Hit the button too many times. Oh well. Ooh, Snorlax. Nice. Sandslash is kind of wrecking his team. There's the boom again. Ugh. Thanks to that last Professor Oak, he will run out of cards before I do. Oh, my bench is full. You know, if he does Thunder Punch with uh, a Heads, he'll do 10 damage to me. He's not going to chance it. Mm -hmm. Lick a tongue. Third time in a row? Yep. I'm gonna save this for Snorlax. Whatever something dies. Hit the speed up there. Speed up! This is very tedious. Fifth time? Wait for it. Wait for the sixth time. You're right, I do. I mean, honestly, I could just sit here and let him run out of cards. But... I'll just make him go boom. Yep. Kaboom. Sandshrew's dead. But everything else should live. Yep. Mm. Hit Monchan, probably. Oh, good choice. Bye. That was an annoying fight. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the other Raichu. That's a fossil Raichu. The fairy. I'm gonna polish my card skills, so come duel again. Nope. In fact, I'm switching to my other deck. Uh, I'm gonna put the Kangaskhan in because I love Kangaskhan. It's just a good card to have. And I'm gonna take out... I'm gonna take out Snorlax because it's kind of just a energy suck. That should be good. Yeah. Hey, Marty. Okay. I think it's time. You're right. This is not Mass Effect. For once. Nope. Oh. I already, I already got through a Final Fantasy 1 randomizer, and now we're at the end of this. And then I'll be starting Swator. Uh, give me some mail. Polyrath. I would like, I would have loved to have at least one Articuno in my water deck. I love Articuno. I think it's a good card. Would have been nice to have one. I'm guessing the one that has Articuno on the cover is the one that gives you Articuno. Watch it not be. Chansey! That's an annoying Pokemon. Alright. Take a look at the deck here. I have... Squirtle, Wartortle, Blastoise, Magikarp, and Gyarados down here. I have two Lapras, because I like them. Then I'm here, I just have two Hitmonchans and Hitmonlee, just because I like them. They're good. They're good to have. And then this was Kangaskhan. Get rid of Farfetch'd. And put in another... Another Hitmonlee. Oh, another Hitmonlee. There was a trainer I wanted to put in here. Uh, Pokemon Breeder. Get rid of... Mm. One switch is pretty handy to have. Get rid of... I like having the Gambler, too. Get rid of Augusta Wind. Alright. Also, select the deck. There we go. Ah, yep, yep. Those moments remind me of Pokemon Stadium. Only those that have won all eight Master Medals may enter the Grand Hall. You have won all eight Master Medals. Enter the Grand Hall. Here we go. Professor of all eight, uh, possess- well, I said Professor. Possessor of all eight Master Medals. Enter the dueling stage. However, you'll be unable to turn back. In that case, enter the dueling stage. Oh, hey guys. Welcome to Pokemon Dome. I am Rod, leader of the Grandmasters, and this is Grandmaster Courtney, the Fire Queen. Grandmaster of Lightning, Thunder Steve. Grandmaster of Ice, Gentlemanly Jack. Okay. We are the four Grandmasters who guard the legendary Pokemon cards. If you can defeat all of us, then you will have earned the right to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Wes, take your place at the table. Your first opponent shall be Courtney. Hmm, I, Courtney, the Fire Queen, shall be your first opponent. We shall see if you can take the heat. A six prize match. Mm hmm, hmm. Let's, let's go to it. All right. I have a Squirtle, Wartortle, Magikarp, Hitmonlee. Uh, I'm getting there. I have one Fighting Energy and that's it. Hitmonlee it is. All right, let's get it first at least. Oh, Growlithe. Um, 
Can't get a fighting. Done. Well, Jerko, uh, we start Swator after this, whenever I manage to beat this. Ooh, Lapras, that's a good one. Stretch Kick! Volpex. I think I'm just going to keep Stretch Kicking. I'm going to get as much damage on these guys as I can. That way, um, if they have 40 HP or less, I can finish them off with uh, with punches. Um, get some damage on the Moltres. Moltres resists fighting. I should have been hitting the Moltres all along. Moltres resists fighting. I need to get damage on it. That is Legendary Moltres. Which, when put in play, will give her some free energy cards. Oh, she got super unlucky and only got one. Lapras. More Moltres hitting it. I'm gonna be getting a little goofy. Lapras. Just in case I get Blastoise, I can actually just use its ability. Nice. We have Renegade Hydrate. Uh. No, they're Par look, look, Paragon. Well, it is time for some more celery. Celery that's been out for 12 hours, at least. Oh, it's, it's like hot. Ew. Oh. Still tastes the same. Not good. It's not great tasting. Yeah. Alright, well this fight's not going terrible, but it's not going great either. Uh, I'm immediately professor using Professor Oak. Ooh! I have two Blastoises. That means I can take advantage of Rain Dance. by putting it on Blastoise, because Blastoise is awesome. I should have done the Fighting Energy first. That was dumb. Do the Fighting Energy first, and then I can do as many water as I want. Now I can't do it because it counted the first one. Oh, never mind. It let me. And now it's on Lapras for some reason. Just, uh, just ignore that. Ignore that that's on there. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, Moltres. Ooh, Gyarados. Kind of wish I put those on Magikarp now. I'm going to kill this Moltres. I don't trust it. It's not weak to water? Interesting. Oh, well. Oh, oh, she took off the water and left the fighting. Why couldn't he take off the fighting? I don't want that. Bye, Blastoise. Oh, hello, Rain Dance. Gyarados. 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 Hitmonchan. Come on, two water energies. Yes! Blastoise. Blastoise. I can't retreat. Alright. I have a switch. This is perfect. Hello. Uh, 
Um, this is why Rain Dance is so deadly. We are now in prime position to annihilate. She just wasted two energies on this thing and got nothing out of it. Oh, hey, Growlithe. Little flame. Uh, that works. Gonna put it on Blastos to do more damage. I don't think it's necessary. Now, to be fair, my deck that I have is really good against Courtney. She has fire Pokemon. I have water and fighting, which count as ground, basically. So... The next fight might be an issue. The next fight's electric. The fight after that is water, which I'll be fine with. And the fight after that is dragon, which is considered colorless. I'll be fine with that, too. In fact, the next fight might be the hardest. Because of the typing. If I can get past the next person, I should be okay. As long as RNG's on my side. Bye, Growlithe. And just like that, we win. Uh, come this far, your next opponent's waiting for you. I should have read more of that. Steve! I, Thunder Steve, am your next opponent. Hey, do you want the legendary Pokemon cards? Then you must defeat me first. Is your deck ready? Save. I'm also going to do a save state because uh, I cheat. Alright, I mean, it's already saving the game, too. Here we go. This is probably the hardest fight, based on my deck. Oh. Interesting. Alright. Oh, good. I'm off to an amazing start. Magikarp, go. And I get to go second. Alright. Okay! I'm lucky it hit him instead. When you put down the legendary Zapdos, it attacks a random Pokemon on the field for 30 damage. If it had hit me, I would have lost immediately. Um... I have a Magikarp. <laughs> Tackle! It's Magikarp versus the world. Wow. Okay. What are the chances of that? Oh, this thing's dying before it gets full energy. <laughs> this is like the perfect case. This is like a perfect scenario. We might have already won. Because all the energy went onto that. Uh-oh. Doesn't doesn't take weakness and resistance though, so that that's okay. Even though I'm not weak to lightning. I'm pretty sure it doesn't take that into account. This might already be over. I think losing those two energies immediately, and one that I took off all three of them, might have I don't know. I have no idea if he can come back from this. Oh, it's a little Eevee. Die. Oh, we are stacked right now. I have a fully loaded Unchained ready to go after this. Hey, Callie. I'm at the end of the game. After this, I have to beat Gentlemanly Jack and then Stupid Dragon Guy Rod and then, uh... Stupid Ronald, and I'm done. Then, which means you're in time for some Switzor potentially.
You resist fighting, don't you? Now we're at an annoying part of the game where this is going to take forever. Unless I get a water... Never mind. <sighs> Ten damage. Unless I can get a water Pokemon up and running, he might make a comeback here. Because I can only do 10 damage. Hitmonlee can do 20. I might actually want to retreat to Hitmonlee. And then start, uh... Not a bad idea. What if I go back to Hitmonlee, and I start, uh, stretch kicking? Oh, also I can use Pokemon Breeder next turn to get a Blastoise. Nice. Nah, it's okay. But yeah, Julie's been here um, pretty much the whole time. Although I don't know how much longer she's going to stay awake. I don't blame her. This is why Pokemon Breeder's a cool card. Last choice. Warp Digivolve, too. He's powering something up on the bench, and I don't like it. Well. Luckily, we might have a Blastoise ready to go in a turn or two. That'll make up for all this. this on anyone. Uh, Kangaskhan, in case I want to draw. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bye, Hitmonchan. Who do I go into? Hit my link and only do 20 damage, but I can. Oh, I can also. You know what? I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna do a stretchy kick. He has no energy. He's stuck here. Except not when he gets four, three more on. Alright. Bye, Zapdos. I only need one more prize. I'm just gonna kick whatever is weakest on his bench. And I have a Blastoise waiting, so... Oh, hey, Voltorb! Oh, poor Voltorb! Just minding his own business being a ball with eyes. Oh! Alright, well, Hitmonlee's probably dead. But as soon as Blastoise gets out... Speaking of that, I might have goofed. No, he'll have, if he uses his attack, he'll have no energy again. We're fine, we're fine. Full torp. In case he doesn't pull one more energy. He did. Oh, he actually has... Oh, it didn't... Oh, no. I didn't know he had that move. I should have checked it. That might have cost me. That might have cost me the game. I should have been doing 20 damage to him instead. Wait, what? What? But Blastoise has Pokemon power. Rained. Is it only water Pokemon? Yep, it is. Okay, alright. Uh, I'm in trouble. This isn't gonna kill. I only need one more prize, though. I only need one more prize. 
No! That would have won the game. If he had gotten Tails either time, I would have won. Ow. Go hit mine, Lee. They can't do anything. Have fun. I'm banking on a bunch of coin flips from Kangaskhan. Okay, could you get a Tails this time? Just one. That's all I need is one Tails. Thank you. We win by one prize. Woo! That was close. You're the winner! You're the greatest! With all that skill, uh, we feel like the legendary book card. Uh, yay! Very good, Wes. Your next opponent's Jack. Oh, hey, Jack. I, Jack, am your third opponent. You shall not be able to defeat my splendid deck. Come, I shall prove it to you. I like how this deck is called the Splendid Deck. Uh, make a save, just in case. Okay. Oh, look how dapper he is. He also looks like a bad Batman villain. Batman has a lot of ice villains. Oh, DC has a lot of ice villains. Okay. I have a Lapras. Could be worse. Well, it's a little worse. <laughs> Alright. Lapras on Lapras. Let's go. He has the advantage because he went first. Uh, battle's ready again? It's so fast now. It literally feels like it's like five minutes and the battle's up again. I'm losing track of time. That's probably a good thing. We win! That was a boss fight, too. Whew. Nerd and Proud TV. Okay. Uh, we have a token chest and a skin chest. We can always get tokens just by playing more. I'll go for the skin chest. Although, not great options on the way to the skin chest, unfortunately. Bronze, bronze, silver, silver. Ugh. Ugh. Eh, whatever I want it. Paladin. Which can now level up to level 10. Healer's level 8. Paladin's level 10. So I get more healing bonus. Alright. That's ready to go. Da 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 da. I have a lot of fighting energy in my hand. You got like 10... Ooh, nice. I know I know you mentioned that you wanted to level up your musketeer. Oh, don't do confused, Ray. Don't be that Lapras. <sighs> I have all this fighting energy and two Professor Oaks. My, this is bad. This is bad. This is a bad hand. A bunch of fighting energy and two Professor Oaks. I'm gonna have to burn them, or else I'm gonna lose. Oh, welcome back from food. I'm playing against Jack now. It's not going well. Oh, good. I'm, that's it. I'm done. Just go. Buy all that fighting energy. I can't help it. Really? Where is all the water energy? <sighs> Alright, I guess Squirtle's gonna bubble things to death. 
I can do anything. Go for it! I have a Squirtle with Bubble. Okay, Julie. Yep, I will be going for another, like, what, eight hours? Uh, <sighs> but thank you for being here this long. Oh. I can make a Blastoise with no energy. Alright. Desperate times. Fighting energy. Glad to have you on the team. Oh, thank you for gifting a sub, Julie. Eco. Also, all the stuff. <laughs> Paragon Hydrate. Paragon Hydrate. Paragon Snack. Uh, I am pretty much out of Cheez-Its. I'm gonna have to eat the crumbs here. I can do. Wow, that actually worked out for me. I went from a I went from a Squirtle with one energy to a Blastoise to three in one turn. I was. I still had people doing it. I just made this, uh, made this a comeback. Here comes Confuse Ray. Nope, nope, it's water. Walk in. Okay. Um, take that off because I find it annoying. Computer search. This Magikarp and this Squirtle. I will computer search for a gambler. And then I will use the gambler and most likely get one card back. Oh, I actually got eight. Water. Two war turtles. Well. Wow. In two turns, look what we went from. A Squirtle with one with one energy to this. Not bad. Rain Dance is broken. <laughs> um, look at Tongue can sta can uh, stall if I have to. By the way, this is why I chose the Blastoise deck. I knew it was broken and Venusaur and Charizard not so much. I have three war turtles in my hand. I have a handful of turtles. <laughs> um, no point in putting this on Blastoise. You can only boost it by two more. Kangaskhan. Die, Chansey. Die. The scoop up, the scoop up strat. Oh no, the Blastoise. Don't need it. We're just we're just clicking buttons now. It's only a matter of time before he falls. Articuno. I'm allergic to, uh, Tails Flips. Uh, 
Oh, it's it's all over. It's all over. He has no energy. It all comes down to seal. No, it's Chansey. Stupid scoop up. Well, fight's over. <laughs> oh, man. Bye, seal. You tried. <sighs> I simply can't believe my splendid deck could lose. It is a mortifying thought, but it appears you are better than I. Very well, not on your final test. Spectacular dueling. I, Rod, will be your next opponent. This is your final duel. Show me what you're made of. We all know it's not the final duel, right? We all know that. Also, Ronald's deck is garbage. I don't think I've ever lost to Ronald once as the champion. Of course, I said that now and I'm going to. It's because he tries to incorporate all four legendary cards, so his deck is like a weird mix, ma mix match of like three or four different types. It just doesn't work that well. All right, Rod. Let's go. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> well, I'm starting off with the uh, Magikarp only strat. And going second strat. Magikarp only, going second. It works every time. <laughs> Alright, hey Magikarp. I had a sneeze and it disappeared. Oh, it's coming back. There it goes again. Um, could I get a second Pokemon, please? We lose! Yep, we lose, because I didn't get a second Pokemon. Let me just, uh, I mean, look, I say, you, it says you have to play it um, through all four without, without stopping, but just like the Elite Four in the original game, you can save in between. So this is just a shortcut. I, you could literally go into the game and start from the diary, and I'd start right here. <laughs> Stupid Magikarp only. Well, he still wasn't Magikarp only. Ugh, why am I getting so sniffly and sneezy? Get Mon Lee. I'm gonna leave Magikarp in my hand for now. Once again, I can't go first. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna go to Kangaskhan. Let's start punching him. Less fetching means less cards for him. I do really feel like most of the time, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan can just carry a deck. We'll save that for later. Um... Start doing that. 
in case I get Gyarados. Squirtle! No, I'll keep using Magikarp, thank you. I mean, if I if I find a Gyarados, it's doing pretty good. I wouldn't say it's over, but we're doing pretty good. Also, Hitmonchan putting in the work. Why did you bring in Magikarp? Ooh, Bill. He's actually not doing that good. I'll put on Lapras. Now he will flail heal for 20 damage, which won't kill me. It'll hurt, but it won't kill me. Uh, I want fighting energy. Hitmon Lee. Okay, I beat a Magikarp. Yay. Tortle. La Lapras is fine. Lapras is fine for now. Um, I'm gonna do. Oh, well, well, never mind. I'm gonna try to get a Blastoise just for the ability to put down energy faster. Do -do 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 -do. Yep, only Gen 1. In fact, in the first four sets, it's only Gen 1. What about... Does Gym Leader set have any Gen 2 Pokemon? I don't, I don't... It might not. I don't think I ever collected a single set in any way that had anything other than Gen 1. Surprisingly. That Neo thing I had, though, had Gen 2 Pokemon. Hmm... Oh, hey, Gyarados. That could be a problem. Mm, I didn't mean to do that. I double-clicked. That's okay. I can kill it. I can kill it faster now. That's okay. What's up, Gyarados? I'm in trouble. I could really... Why do I have so many of these? I could really use my own Gyarados right now. Um, take one of those off. Now, I could do 20 damage, but what's the point, right? Confuse Ray. This might be my only chance to stop this thing. Never mind. Oh! No more energy. Nice. I'm gonna start doing damage, then. If he doesn't have any energy, I'm gonna I'm gonna do damage. In fact, if I hit it one more time, I can kill it with uh, Hitmon Lee, I believe. Yeah, I can. Wow, what a waste of a Gyarados. Works for me. Yep. And now Hitmonlee kills it in one hit. I think. Does it resist does it resist fighting because it's a flying type? I have to find out. Oh it does! Oh. Oh, that's not good. I mean I'll survive this, but not by much. I can't even kill it. Oh, he's going for the paralysis. Oh, okay. Nope.
Now, do I want to go for... Wow, I'm not doing good on the bench, am I? I need to profess a rogue. Okay. If I get a Gyarados here, I'm in good shape. If I get... Well, that's all about it. I, sh I should have... Oh, I should have put the one of the War Turtles down. That way if I got... Oh! I didn't put one of the War Turtles down, so I didn't have Blastoise down for Rain Dance. Oops. Oh well, that Gyarados. That was dumb. I should have put down one of those War Turtles. <sighs> Gyarados will kill this no matter what. So instead of attacking this for 20 damage, I'm going to Stretch Kick the Charmander and kill that. Yeah, there was no point in doing that extra 20 damage. Uh, I should have stretch kicked twice, but one one prize left. I think we're in pretty good shape here. I mean, he's got to do something or else he loses next turn. We win. Now we fight Ronald, who again, I have never had an issue with. Watch this be the first time. What, what on earth? Even I, Rod, have been defeated? Wonderful. This is wonderful. Congratulations, you have proven yourself worthy enough to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Except... Typical. We have a problem. There's another who has defeated us. You must duel him. And he gets to use all the legendary cards, for some reason. Yep, that's right. It's me, Ronald. I have already inherited the legendary Pokemon cards. No, Ronald, that cannot be allowed. He, too, has earned the right to inherit the cards. Ronald, Wes, you must toot us dead there. You two must duel to determine who will inherit the cards. So say the rules. Then why does he get to use them? Alright, Rod. Is your deck ready? Let's find out. I think I like that Rain Dance Gyarados is the reason why I'm winning this. That's all it took. I was here first. Legendary Pokemon cards belong to me. I'll make it I'll, I'll make it all too clear. All right, this is it. Hitmonchan is a great start, especially when I actually have uh, energy for it. Good. It'd be funny, like, what? I would be funny if I won this, like, in five turns or something. It's not gonna happen, but I mean, I just, I think it'd be really funny. After all this buildup of Ronald, he just loses in five turns. I have a Gyarados ready to go. In my hand, at least. Issue the Magikarp. Uh-oh. Hit. His. <sighs> he hit me. And removed my energy. I'll do it again. Yeah, Zapdos is the best one by far. Articuno is just paralyzed. And Fl Moltres is okay too, I guess. Free energies are always nice. But Zapdos is funny when it hits themselves when they when they hit themselves though. I'm gonna start leveling up Hitmonlee. Working on Hitmonlee. Another Hitmonchan. Uh, 
Uh, we have a bunch of water. And no fighting. Alright, Squirtle it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, it only took one to kill me. Well, that's a problem. Go, Squirtle! Uh, time to bubble stall. Good. Did the next fight start, by the way? In Scream Raiders? Is it actually going? It is going, okay. Making sure. It looked like it wasn't going for some reason. Oh, you'll still see the... There it goes. He used energy... Rem Would you stop? I'm not even going to put energy back on Squirtle. I'm going to just start putting it on Lapras. Oh, cool. I actually lived. All right. Good. Buy me some time. Lapras... Hey, if he gets two if he gets two tails, I live again. That's why I hate slam. Get my knee. Man, I could really use some uh some fighting energy right about now. Two more tails again? Nope. Oh, they actually huh. they didn't use uh oh tails number one. Why aren't they... Why isn't it using Hyper Beam? It would kill me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hitmonchan. I'll need it on there eventually, maybe. Yep, I like most Final Fantasies. I mean, I like all of them. I mentioned before, there's a there's a few that are kind of like, meh to me, but I, I, they're all fun. I mean, I've said it before, I enjoy Final Fantasy. I've enjoyed 13. Not for the story or characters, but the gameplay. That is true, we probably did that. Alright, even if it does Hyper Beam, I still kill it. Because I'll still do 20. Oh, what I said, I've never had problems with Ronald. Uh, yeah. Thing was cool. Yep. Thing was cool. Um, I kind of like Saz as well, just because he's like the he's just like the dad of the group. I kind of like that. Well, I can get a fighting energy finally. Mm, hit on me. We might be in good shape now. He doesn't seem to have anything. Okay, never mind. Healing wind. Ugh. Oh, hey, Dragonite. Awesome. Great. I live, though. Uh, I do not. Do I go for the 30 damage, or do I go for the confusion? Resist fighting, of course. Well... I'm going to go for the damage, because if he does miss both coin flips, I have a chance to kill it. Here we go! I'm going to actually lose to Ronald for the, for the first time ever. Go, Squirtle! Bubble stall! The funny thing is, this bubble is going to matter. 
Matters more now. Hitmonlee can now kill him with a kick. What if I just... What if my... What if my Bubble Squirtle beats a Dragonite? Oh, Nancy. oh okay. Alright. Yep. I wanted to... I, I'm the kind of person who plays fighting games for the story, like uh, Soul Calibur or... Uh, what else? Uh, Mortal Kombat. Injustice. So the I, I kind of like the idea of playing Dissidia through just to get the story. I own the first one. I didn't play it that much, though. Wow, I am defeating a Dragonite with Squirtle. Uh, let's start working on Magic Art. Squirtle has defeated a mighty Dragonite. Eevee. Eevee. Eevee can actually kill Squirtle. Oh, I'm paralyzed. I'm pretty sure it can. Is it? No, no, it can't. Okay. Okay. Now it can. All right. If I get one more water energy on the field, we're in good shape. Eevee's the best. Well, Eevee's about to kill me. <laughs> Not a huge fan of Eevee at the moment. Miss it! Okay, I can only afford one more, one more death. What are the, what does the, this look like? No damage, no damage, no damage, no, wow. Um, I jump kick it is. Two slams can kill me. Yep, I knew that was coming, hyper beam. Unfortunately, if I don't get a fighting energy right now. Ooh. Yes. Also, I'm gonna be- I'm definitely doing this. Um, Lapras and Lickitung. Yeah. Already did that. This is getting close. Unfortunately, all, all his remaining Pokémon uh, resist my fighting stab. So, it's not great. However, I could do Stretch Kick for 20 on anything I want. Might do that. How about a nice Stretch Kick on Eevee? Easy target. Um... I don't have a Squirtle in play deal. Oh, man. That would have been helpful. I'm gonna work on my second Gyarados. Except I'm running out of prizes, that's the problem. I'm gonna retreat into Gyarados and start blasting with Dragon Rage. Probably the better play, because this takes four energy to attack. I can't afford to lose that Hitmonlee, because then I'll be one more, one more death and I'm out. Eh. Alright, let's do this real quick. <laughs> Dead. Gold for all. Another bronze or another bronze? Hmm, I think I'll take the bronze. Is that it? That is it. I now have level 10 Barbarian. Which means I get a 30% bonus to armored uh, enemies. Good. Back in there. Okay. 
Let's finish this. Die, Voltrez. Oh, poor Edie. I'm Commander Shepard. Welcome aboard. Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, Foskina Caruso. Welcome. Callie, I know you like Evie, but look what poor Ronald is doing to Evie. Made Evie come in, like, limping in with 20 damage against a Gyarados. Not very nice. Pretty sure this fight is over. I have a second Gyarados almost ready, so... Yep, I think we're good. He has no energy left. Hey, Ninja. I'm still alive. We're getting ready to go to Sator, because this is the last fight of the game. Uh-oh, he used Scoop Up on Zapdos. Please attack one of his own Pokemon. Nope, it's mine. That was close. Hitmonlee only has 10 HP left. But, I think we just won. Even if Hitmonlee had died, I had one, I had two prizes left. So. I'm Commander oh. Shepard. Welcome aboard. Oh. Hello, Dean Drewy. Thank you for the follow and the birthday uh, wishes. You slept in until the sun was fully up today. Never felt more. Okay, that is right. You are used to getting up super early, aren't you? No. How? How could I lose? I'm sorry, but the legendary Pokemon cards have chosen less. Legendary Pokemon cards vanished from Ronald's deck. This is the funniest thing in the game. The cards view Ronald as not worthy, and they just go poof from his deck into mine. No, my legendary Pokemon cards! Great on Pokemon on Nintendo Switch? It is on DS. But yeah, it'd be good on Switch, too. No! A nice bigger screen. Congratulations, Wes. You are a new... You are a card master. Worthy of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards. The legendary Pokemon cards have recognized you as a true master. Now go through to the Hall of Honor to receive the legendary cards. The four legendary Pokemon cards float, glowing in the air. I received the legendary Moltres card. The legendary card Moltres. Read it backwards. It has Dive Bomb for three. Um, when you put Moltres down, you get randomly like one to four energies. And also, Tails' attack does nothing. I received the legendary card Articuno. Ice Breath. When you put Articuno into play during your turn, flip a coin. If heads, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. An Ice Breath does... 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon chosen at random. Ugh. Ah, Zapdos. Zapdos has always been my favorite of the birds. Big Thunder. When you put Zapdos into play, you deal 30 damage to a random opponent. Could be, well, it could be your Pokemon as well. Choose a random Pokemon other than Zapdos at random. Choose a Pokemon other than Zapdos at random. This deck does 70 damage to that Pokemon. That's it. That's all it is. Random. Dragonite. I wonder if it's better than the old one. It's not. When you put Dragonite into play, remove two damage counters from each of your Pokemon. If Pokemon has fewer damage counters than that, remove all of them. And then Slam, which is not great. The legendary Pokemon cards speak to you. You have inherited us, great card master. Our master must not forget. Inheriting us does not make you a Pokemon card master. A true Pokemon card master is one who has the skill to use the abilities of the different cards and the courage to duel powerful opponents. And most of all, the ability to love the Pokemon trading card game no matter what. Win or lose. And bug your parents to buy all the cards and spend all their money on you. On these cards. On Pokemon merchandise. 
A new journey has begun. I'm going to go get ready for Swator. In fact, I'll let this play while I do it. Well, this is going to be comfortable. Ow. I'll be back in a few minutes. I need to get Swator ready and go um, get more Cheez-Its, I believe. So I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> 